Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome aboard and good to see you all here for the legendary and fantastic Anno 1800 campaign. It's good to see you all here. I have not played this campaign since it came out back in 2019 and uh, man, it's going to be good to play through it again. On the 12th of April, Anno 1800 gets a new DLC, which will get a new scenario mission. And uh, I found out that there's a scenario mission I haven't even seen before. Um, there's new stuff added to the game since the last time I checked it out. I was pretty uh, faithful to Anno 1800 up until the release of like the second DLC for the third season. In other words, after the Africa DLC, there was a Docklands DLC, which allowed you, for you to make massive ports. And that's a really cool DLC to get. Um, and after that one, there was like tourism. There was like a tourism DLC that came out within that season. And then at the end of that, there was like a DLC for the investors, which allows you to build a massive like Empire State Building type building. And um, those two I kind of missed out on busier with other stuff. But I did notice that there was a new scenario and the thing coming out on the 12th should be a scenario as well. Um, so I think, yeah, there's this Eden burning scenario, which apparently is uh, taking place in the new world. I haven't done this, but I, I want to do this as well. So I think we'll play this sometime in the future too. So that's all part of like the uh, previous seasons or whatnot. A big shout out to Sir Similot too, by the way, who kept the uh, playthroughs alive after we did our initial playthrough of Anno 1800, the, um, both the Sandbox series and the uh, Sandbox, or rather the campaign, which I think eventually then becomes the Sandbox once you beat it. Um, my files were corrupted, or I deleted them, or I didn't think anything else would come to Anno, and boy, was I wrong. So he did play through as well. So exclamation point, uh, Sir Similot, if you want to see another one of my friends play through Anno 1800, not only the old stuff, but also the newer stuff of the last couple of updates, and more than likely the Season 4 DLC when it, that comes out on the 12th. Good news, if you're watching this, and uh, it is before April 9th, keep in mind, chat, that you can download Anno 1800 for free between April 9th and I believe April 12th when the new season comes out. It'll be like a free to play kind of weekend into the new week kind of thing. So from uh, Saturday, I believe, is that the 9th? Anyway, at the end of the week, make sure you check out like the Epic Games Store or check out uh, you, the, the Uplay Store. Um, this isn't on Steam. You have to get it on Epic. For whatever reason, they pulled it from Steam right before launch and never put it back on there. I, I thought it would come back out onto Steam, but I guess it didn't. A lot of the music for the game is now copyright, which is really annoying, and there's not like a Steam or, uh, Steam or Stream, I should say, safe mode. So we're going to have to play without the, uh, the music, unfortunately. Uh, when we first played, there was no copyrights, and then they added a bunch of new songs, and now they're flagged for copyright. Kind of annoying. There's not a... If anybody knows about like a, a stream safe mode or a way to get to it, let me know because I want to listen to the music that's not copyright, but they added a bunch of new music that the original soundtrack's good, but then they added like 10 songs that are not good. So um, annoying. So yeah, it'll be, it'll be free for the weekend. But hey, it's a good opportunity to get in and play some multiplayer. On Saturday and Sunday, we'll also be playing some multiplayer. And in multiplayer, you can actually play up to 16 people now, which is why I want to do this if you... Um, uh, why I want to play it on the weekend is because you can actually like multi-host a uh, a uh, faction or something like that. So you can do a team and then you can have multiple people operate the team. So as you can see, I'm on the team and then you can invite, I think, like up to four people to be on the same team. So it's not just like a, a 4v... Um, it's not like four players versus like a bunch of AIs anymore. You can now actually have like multiple people on the team. So that's pretty cool. So... Um, yeah, we'll be doing that this weekend. We'll get into more of that. But anyway, it's been a long time. I've forgotten everything about the original uh, campaign, so we're going to play through that because, I, well, I, it's been a long time, and I want to start Raptoria fresh in anticipation for the newer DLCs coming out on the um, on the 12th. So, um, man, do I, I miss our old city tremendously. But I guess with all the new DLCs that have been included uh, with the... Uh, the Anarchist DLC, the Sunken Treasures DLC, the Botanica DLC, the Passage DLC, the Seed of Power DLC, the Bright Harvest DLC, the Land of Lions DLC, the Docklands DLC, the Tourism Season DLC, and the High Life DLC. Yeah, it might be a good idea to restart with all the new stuff available in the game. All right, well, without further ado, thank you very much, Din, for the three my arm a friend and just joe welcome back as a raptor egg if you guys haven't smashed that join button do so and i will have a giveaway on the discord if we hit 10 new members throughout the stream as just an extra incentive uh, as a thank you if we hit that milestone great everybody gets something in the discord if not it's cool we continue to play games and uh, do giveaways at random on the discord so make sure you're there yeah that's um 
the campaign came out in 2019, so it's been about like almost like three years of DLCs. So it's about time that I play. Yeah, the High Life DLC is the last one I think, or the uh, the the th this is the one with the big uh, skyscrapers that you can build. So since we have access to pretty much everything in the game, we now are going to start the campaign all over again. So uh, goodbye to Sir Simlot's uh, new game. I may as well like delete all this old stuff, but uh, let's check out here and see what we got or load games. I just want to see what I got in here. Oh wow, there's yeah, old multiplayer games. What about single player? Old sandbox saves, Captain Raptor. Wow. Oh, the Sea of Power and the Passage DLC. Wow. We'll go back and take a look at some of my old save games. Let's see what we got here when they were saved. <gasps> Wait a minute. Some of these are very old. Maybe we still have Raptoria after all. Some of these are from June 12, 2019, so they might... Uh, hmm. July 12, 2019? Oh, this is when it was like uh, auto-saved or something. I might actually still have the old Raptoria. But it's good to build it again. So let's go. All right, new game. Um, let's start ourselves a new campaign. Experience the story of Anno 1800 merges into sandbox ga uh, gameplay and completion. That, that I really like. More games need to do that where if it's a city builder or like a kind of a a game with like no end to it, there doesn't have to be an end to Anno 1800. Well, kind of when you fill up all the islands, but um, yeah. So once you're done with the campaign, you can go and build in all the other uh, areas to build in. Pretty cool. All right, let's go. More guidance, less guidance. Uh, receive guidance, tips on how to play, recommended for newcomers. I guess we'll go with that just in case there's some new mechanics that have been added. Um, I also want to do a uh, live stream. The developers for Anno 1800 do have a live stream out for the DLCs coming out from April 12th. There's going to be airships added to the game. There's going to be new world stuff added on the 12th, which adds a new scenario about mining silver. But also there's going to be new air, a new world stuff for haciendas, which allows you to build like more advanced farming. Like the new world's going to become more independent to have a lot more of its own stuff, like creating uh, beer and such on their own. So the the first uh, part of the new DLC is called Seeds of Change. We'll get into that next week. That's going to be awesome. Um, but that's like a whole separate scenario. So what we do today, we won't be seeing on the twelfth, but it's going to be exciting. So, oh man, I really want to play music, but I don't want to get clapped by Susan. I really do. If, if anybody could just do me a quick favor and look and see if there's any sort of stream safe mode, let me know. Otherwise, I don't want to risk it. I don't want to anger the, the YouTube gods. All right, let's go. All right, who are we playing as? Let's see. Ooh, the Anno Club stuff. Um, who do we want to play as? Oh, nice. That's me in the winter in Minnesota. Arrow type. Oh, there's so many things you have to complete. Monument of knowledge. Oh, the Tower of Power would be fantastic. This dude looking like Sir Simlot right here. <laughs> oh, this is the uh, this is the woman who um, she's the uh, the engineer class. I love the uh, African characters as well. The African king and the the season three when you go to uh, Land of Alliance. That's so cool with the canals and such that you can make for the with the people in Africa. I think I'll go with this dude. This is going to be me like when I'm 50. That's what I'm going to look like. I mean, that's pretty close, right? That's got to be me. Uh, let's see. Also, I want, An I want Anno 1800 to put me in the game. I played this game so much, just put me in the game. I got to be in there. You love the new emotes? Yes, we have new emotes today in honor of the Lego Star Wars game coming out later today, so enjoy those. If you become a new member, not only do you get access to a ton of different perks, but it also uh, helps us to make new emotes, which we update all the time. Uh, of course, you also get your name highlighted in green and badge next to your name. A big O coveted shout out from everybody in chat and that good old feeling that you know that you're helping Raptor to buy, no, fuel his addiction to pizza rolls. All right, so that is our character. That looks like me. They need to add more colors to this game. I still, I, I don't understand why they haven't added like red... Maybe it's for colorblind mode or something, but like, why not add like, I don't know, like white, it's just all the primary colors, white, red, they have green and blue. Why not like white, red, they have black, um, orange? Why not an orange color? Ooh, I got all the Anno stuff. 
What screams Raptoria? We gotta go with a good logo. Yeah, that's cool. I like the tree. I think we should go blue. I like the ships. Hmm. Oh, I like this one as well. Although we can't put text there, so that's a little weird. I love the lion, that's good. Let's see. They've added a lot of new stuff. I like that. That's a good one too. The crown is good as well. Love the lion. Love the tree. Love the alternative crown. I, I think I like this one the most. Love the moonshot. I think we'll go with this one. <laughs> Player name, Win Winkle. What the hell? <gasps> you can actually play the D you can play the campaign with all the DLC. Oh, that's so cool because it does go into sandbox mode. Oh, it's totally worth it to replay this then uh, from the very start. That's amazing. Sunken Treasure, Botanica, the Passage, Seed of Power. That's amazing. Then you can go into all these DLCs while you also do the main campaign. That's this is gonna take you like 150 hours just to complete like all this stuff. That is crazy. Oh my god. We're gonna try to focus primarily on the <laughs> on the main stuff. Oh my god. Uh you just watched someone uh watching the Lego stream earlier say, Have you ever played 1800? Maybe one day we'll play. Imperial pack. Dude, I got everything for this game. This is so good. We have the Imperial Train, the Imperial Command Ship, the uh, 1602 Memorial. Oh my god, dude. This is so good. Let's play, um, let's play normal. I want a little bit of a challenge, but also it's, I don't, I don't want it to take forever. Because it's, it's already going to take forever, you know, going to New World, going to the Arctic, going to Africa. Ugh. Is Sandbox better? Well, the campaign goes into Sandbox, so... But Sandbox allows you to kind of, like, um, choose your... Um, with the campaign, things are a little restrictive towards the start, but eventually they all open up, so it's completely on you. If you've, if you've played the campaign, I would recommend playing it again, because with what I just saw, I had no idea that they integrated all that. Usually campaigns are kind of like this little... It's like its own little separate thing. But the fact that they've integrated this so well is absolutely mind-blowing. I, I can't believe that they actually allow you to do all those DLCs. Because usually they make a single-player campaign that only has the vanilla stuff, and they never come back and touch that again. Yes, when the campaign is over, you can continue in Sandbox. Here we go. Yeah. Since that day you saved my life, I have presumed I knew you. But now, a thousand letters from your father go unopened, yet one scribbled from your sister changes everything. I didn't even know you had a sister. We are broke, old pal. We can't afford a passage back to your old world, back to your family. Not unless you suddenly remembered what work is. Dynamite fishing? You're serious? <laughs> well, the village north is always short on food. Remember when we escaped the pits back when? Still some dynamite left. Here it is. Uh, just get plenty of distance on the throw. You never told me you had a sister. What else haven't you told me about? Uh, let's click on the dynamite and select where you want to throw it. Oh, I see. Ass with a sitter. <laughs> oh, oh, what the chimichurri was that boom? No, I'm not expecting Queen Parrotfish. 
Anything with fins will do. Well, at least the fish is already Even cooked. More roasted fish. Ooh, the endeavor. All the blistered fish they could ever want. Okay. In that first bang, I knew it was you. So, come show me what you got this time. Man, this game is beautiful. I love that. Absolutely gorgeous. Have we played this game before? I think maybe once or twice. Ah, that burnt reek. Ugh. Hand over whatever it is and I'll help you get rid of it. Here are your tickets. Hurry, drifters. The boat is leaving soon, and nobody wants you to miss it. <laughs> All right, we get to go to the old world. So, this is it. We're leaving paradise behind. You never talk much about family and the like. But you're dead serious about this, aren't you? No matter. I made a vow to defend you, and I don't break an oath. Even if a blind man could see you leap into the deepest pit of dung. I have never asked anything of you, firstborn. Not when you stole away a tiptoe. Leaving the family burden at your little sister's door. Our father oh, is accused no, of high treason. Dare you to believe it? Will you now stand I by? Am knowing shaken. gentle father is in dungeon. It must kill him. Please come home. We need you. Is it really you, dearest sibling? I never dared hope you'd return. Do you remember Bright Sands? Of course you do. We loved it here. It's changed now. The Royal Council support Uncle Edvard. Father barely cold, and he's pulling everything down. Those houses. You never said how wealthy you were. <laughs> Why were we selling fish and sleeping in barns? Never told your friend of good and sons. There is much to be said, but not now. Dear father's funeral begins. Where have you been? Without you brats, we'll never be done with this obligation. Looks like death claimed the wrong brother. No matter, so few are here, when they are the few he loved most. Nobody likes a traitor, let alone his tainted offspring. Better make yourself scarce. We shall, dear sibling, for now. I have acquired a small island with the last of my funds, and passage for all still loyal to father. Together, we shall clear his name, or die trying. Your sister reminds me of you. Must mean new adventures await, old pal. This is it. Ditch water. End of the world. I hope you like it quiet. It begins. <laughs> Chapter One, A Tale of Two Brothers. We'll just what? Still here? We'll leave it as Establishing a rival later. company on that disheveled island? 
let Uncle Edvard scoff. A modest island, yes, but if you are at all like father, you'll look beyond appearances. We must shelter the good, loyal people who have shown solidarity with our family. Yes, the Raptorians. We need every hand we can get if we are to expunge this debris. That looks suspicious. Start with the marketplace. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba, ba. All right, build 10 farmer residents and attract 50 farmers. Yeah, step two, Wendy's. Look at this. This place already looks polluted. It's like, there's already like toxicity and like death here. And it's like, wait, I, we just built a market. Oh, very ominous. You reached a new milestone. Oops. The age of agriculture. Do you remain here out of spite? Or is this some futile attempt at competition? What a jerk. As you are so desperate to appear responsible, you'll be pleased to hear the cost of that fantastical funeral falls to you. Miserly, uncharitable dastard! Picking and choosing what he inherits! Okay. Ooh, what is that? A tree painter? Wait, is that new? What the? Oh my... Oh, that is freaking Poglad. You can now just paint trees? Oh, that's amazing. You can, you can fill in all the space with trees that might be empty where you haven't built and make it look pretty. Oh my god. They've added so many new things. It's so good. So awesome. Oh man, that's that's mega pog. That is mega pog. That's amazing, man. That's so good. Uh oh, I heard a bear. That's so Bob Ross, dude. That is like Bob Ross to the extreme. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah, there's lots of details if you do. What is that? See what slander Edvard Prince in Bright Sands. Samuel's child, is it? Thank heavens. I am so ashamed of every single word your uncle had me print. Slander. Absolute slander. Edvard the Savior. Mr. Edvard Good speaks of bold new era for good and sons nobly bearing the burden. Terrible traitor. Brother dropped at his door. Traitor dies mysteriously in prison. Reports Samuel Good couldn't face humiliation on trial. Miserable few at funeral. Still more than Judas ever deserved. Island sale calamity. Empire rocked by sale of strategic island prosperity. Young queen facing first major crisis thanks to Samuel Good's acts of treason. He twists every article in his favor at our and father's expense. Father wouldn't have wanted us to sit on our hands while our one prospect was in such a state. Clear so let's distance. gather our townsfolk and ask them to spruce the place up. Oh, I see. They're demolishing that for free wood, I think. There's also a cool way to, like, go around and walk in first person, too, where there's, like, several, uh, Morning is paths. eased. Now we have others for company, sibling. So cool. It's been a hard day of labor for us all. We should cater to our tired, hungry people. 
Okay, build a fishery and attract a hundred farmers. Pretty. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, when does wood become lumber? Um, you can do that at the sawmill. Lumberjack's hut creates logs and then it becomes lumber at the sawmill. Okay, let's do a small warehouse here. There we go. Storage is shared across all warehouses. Once your goods have been delivered to a warehouse, they become accessible to the whole island. Dr. Panga with the eight months is a little raptor. Thank you very much for your continued membership. Thank you for renewing your membership. Good morning, afternoon, evening from South Africa. Hey, welcome. Good to see you. Hope you're enjoying the Big O stream. Do you have to reinstall to get the extra DLCs? Um, if you just purchase them, you might need to restart the game. If you bought them, like, within the game. Oh my god, look at how gorgeous that is. Wow. I'm falling in love with this game all over again. I can't wait to play this weekend with the boys. I really wish I could build out on these little islands, too. These gorgeous little... Gorgeous little islands. Max graphics? Uh, pretty much. It's a very beautiful game, but it, I, I don't think it looks much better than this. Alright, let's keep attracting farmers. Don't mind a bit, foraging. Um, um, We're taking every care. We are running low on timber, but there's plenty in the ruins. We should clear some to stock up. Can I... You need more people before you can demolish these ruins. I guess they're trying to tell me to buy. Is there any small ruin for timber? Oh, small ruins. Oh. This game is on the Epic Game Store. You can use the code Raptoria at checkout. Exclamation point Raptoria if you want to get this. It's also on Uplay. Um, it'll have some new DLC on the 12th of April. And it'll be free on April 9th to April 12th as well. RD Gamers, thank you very much for the seven months as a raptor hatchling. Thank you very, very much. So these little ruins we can clear, but not the big O cities. So we gotta do these little desolate buildings. Oh. Wonder what that could be. Uh, yes, I did, Cam. Yes, I did. Yeah, control shift R, yeah. There's actually a um There's a map where there's like a castle where you can walk around too. I forget which one that is. I think that might be on the main island. You reached a new milestone. We're now a village. Yay. Clear the abandoned market district. Uh, so we're reclaiming everything. Help enough to demolish the larger ruins. Let's breathe some life into this place. All right, time to build some timber. Shops. Very good. I'll try not to think of the coffin. Oh, more wood. 
It's been a long, hard day. The people need to rest and maybe wet their whistles. <laughs> hey, uh, we need some schnapps. I also forgot that the game has a beautiful day-night cycle, too. At the very beginning, when we first played, it was always daytime, but now they've included a day-night cycle and... There's so many incredible things that they've included in Anno 1800 now. Glad to be replaying again. Alright, let's do some uh, farming over by the river. Can't clear out everything yet, but we can try to farm up there. Yeah, a schnappery, that's what we have to open. Yeah, load screen tips. Um, let's start with the first task. Sustain across the region, 70% of schnapps supply for one minute. Alright, let's we'll start with the schnapps. Let's build a farm over here. When I look into your people's faces, I see trouble. Make sure their misery doesn't become a problem. We're going to try to make things look pretty. What's my favorite part about the game? Um, I, you know, there's a lot of great things that come together. The game blends a lot of good, good things. I really did like the music, but I'll be Susan if I turn it on. So we're we're gonna have that off for just a just a little bit. All right, so potatoes are now being made into schnapps, and we need to build a pub. John Locks at 150 farmers. Oh, I love that noise. <laughs> All right, uh, let's also increase happiness by providing the farmers with clothing. And a spinnery to make the clothes. We'll make that down by the old docks. Down by the old docks. No, I... They've added... I Honestly, I think the campaign will be a heck of a lot easier, too, and more fun that there's more things to do with the, uh, the main um, campaign having all the access to the DLCs. Like, it's, it's quite nice. Alright, raise farmer's happiness to 10. That's going to just take a little bit of time now. Schnapps and clothes. Fish. I think that's everything. And one... F oh, the pub. That's the only way to serve it. Let's make some more pretty districts. Can we build any of this stuff? Oh, we can build stuff from the start? What is all this? Oh, it's like a DLC. No slacking. Well, that'll look nice. Oh, we can build roller coasters right from the start. Okay, that's okay. Oh wow, we can build agricultural stuff right at the start. Oh wow, I, that's a little too fancy for now. 
I can't believe I unlocked everything. Well, most of it. Ooh, a nice promenade. We'll have to build this stuff a little later. Get yep. some rest. This game it's will be free be on uh, April 9th to the 12th, according to what I've seen. So many cool decorations. Something's still locked. That's cool. Feels an eternity since the funeral. And the cost! Oh, why, it was extortionate. Okay. Repay me now, or sell up. I feel sick to the stomach that Edvard could ask so much of us so soon after father's death. See how the whole world bows before us. Uh, having stores for schnapps. He only wants four schnapps? <laughs> That's the funeral cost? Obviously, he's talking about tons. Produce goods Howdy, and deliver. Damn you. All right, we're going, sir. We're going. Another biscuit. Fire risk is increasing. Oh, boy. Yeah, Edvard reminds me of, like, a Harry Potter character or something. Is there a raptor statue? No, but there are, like, images of other YouTubers and stuff in the game for, like, people that you can get as, um... There's, like, people you can rescue or hire or whatnot from some of the sites, and you can get them as, like, experts for, to, like, pop into, like, town hall or, like, unions and things like that, and they'll make your farmers more effective or something like that. All right, let's build a pub. What are we going to name the pub, chat? Can't be a humble spud. Do we name it PUBG? Your people are recovered and desirous to proceed. Set them to it. We're going to need as much space as we can clear. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Through the church district. That fish claw, he smells gertlush. Good to see you, Uncle. The Swinging Pig? That's a good one. Alright, now I feel like we can put a few things around the around the bar. Maybe we can make... I'll save this space to make something pretty, since it is kind of like the center of town. Oh, good. Speak to our humble cousin. He writes of a work riot in Bright Sands. Find your cousin leading a mob it seems in the vicinity we are not of alone Edvard's in our contempt for Edvard. Oh, wow. Woo. There's the big O city. Oh, yeah, the bank. Oh, man. The, the, damn, this game's gorgeous. Hi, Booster. Alright, where's our cousin? He's at the construction site. I think they're building a new Amazon fulfillment site here. We'd rather die than stay. Our flag still wave for Samuel. Let Edvard oppress us no more. Oh yeah, I was right. Amazon employees. Uh, Ready find to repay miles. my ch Look at how pretty that is. Wow. Ready to repay my charity? Don't think you're finished, brat. Usually you're playing Anno 1800 from I up here so long. I the reek of lanolin. But if farmer's smocks are all you have... Is there no limit to Uncle's shameless demands?
Usually you're playing from so far away, you never get to see all the beautiful details of buildings. Oh, they only let me walk around in my own city? Sigh. Right, let's find one more riding group. A life away from Edvard. We're on board. Only we've no ship to get on board of. Okay, now we have to have clothing made. If you pick made. me, you may have my boat. It's my poor aunt's legacy. Her second husband was a decent sailor. Oh, thank you, newspaper guy. Select the editor and his crew at the at Edvard's Harbor. Damn, look at that harbor. Game is amazing, dude. Uh, where's the. There they are. Alright, now we have access to the ship. Everybody on board? Good. I, I, I shiver at the thought of staying here another second. Dude, the voice actor for the editor and the captain are the best. The ship captain. What? Has your cleft of the family no shame? that it now resorts to abducting my workers. The Queen's ambassador himself shall hear of this. Abduction is a severe accusation. And if I may, uh, excuse me, a false one. We left Edvard quite willingly. Pencil polishing, Popinjay. I should have been rid of you long ago. I see nothing criminal. A bit of interfamilial bickering is only natural, <laughs> and hardly a matter for the crown. And as for you, I have quite forgotten my manners. Sir Archibald Blake, ambassador and confidant to the Queen. Despite the circumstances, Her Majesty and I were pleased to hear of your return. Your father's death was a tragedy. We regret he never had the chance of a fair trial. The real tragedy here is the vast funeral bill that goes unpaid, while this brat is living the life of O'Reilly. Sadly, your uncle has indeed alerted me to some uh, floating liabilities. I fear you have no choice but to settle them if I am to grant you your crown shipping license. Edvard registered the debt officially. Don't worry. That old tyrant can't hold us back anymore. Indeed. Once my letterpress is up and running, the truth will come back to haunt Edvard. Uh, for your hospitality, please use my ship howsoever you may wish. Now that sounds like good news. Yeah. Cool. As to the debt, my hands are tied, but it may warm Her Majesty's heart to see a new enterprise taking shape. Yes, the Clav Raptor. Maybe Edvard will try to prevent us owning a shipyard, but for now, let's at least house those workers. You reached a new milestone. The age of industrialization. Yeah, brother, yeah, yeah. All right, clear the abandoned smeltery. Very Workers nice. can handle stubborn debris on ditch water. If it's to be the center of our new enterprise, it needs to be immaculate. Okay, we need more clothing. Honest work. That's all we ask. Our dream of a shipyard is impossible without plenty of qualified hands. All right, attract 150 workers. Got it. We got to compete now. Oh, that's Tell done. Tell me you've managed something. Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Four bags full. Uh, is anyone else getting Snape vibes from this dude? He reminds me of Professor Snape. Missing goods. Oh, it's got to be delivered from a warehouse. Oh, what is this? Spare a thought for us. Who's the merrier? Ooh, yes, I will do that. I'm happy as a sand boy. Will you build us another castle? Collect the gift offered by the residents. Okay. Haven't you ever wanted help, Gov? Yes. Uh, let's see. So good to see you, Uncle. So good to see you, Uncle. Oh, there they are. You can make better what's already gold. I shouldn't ask. We've all we've ever wished for. Uh, find the farmer's. Oh, find the farmer's husband, okay. Is he out partying, ma'am? Oh, there he is. I wish I'd a goose for your kindness. A bow soon. Equipped in ships, damage. Oh, okay. Forget how to do this. It's been a while. You do that? Yep. Uh, damage slow down negative 40%. Good. Alright, attract 150 workers. Oop, do I hear fire? Uh oh. <laughs> Luckily, we got a fire department. It'll be. That, that'll buff out. That'll buff out. All right, we got to start making bricks with the workers. Let's start by getting clay. Bum, bum. Yeah, Red's going to be playing this for the first time as well. So exclamation point Red to see his um, playthrough as well. Uh, with the airship DLC coming... Uh, do we need to build defenses inland to prevent air raids? I think airships might just be for faster transport between, um, like, world regions. Like, between the New World and, like, for example, the Arctic region or whatnot. That's going to be kind of cool. Yeah, Red's smart. Red will watch me play and then he'll, um, <laughs> he takes notes. That's totally cool. All right, let's upgrade. With several passionate young reporters enlisted, our publishing house is already well underway. Publisher's Clearinghouse? I'm a winner, yeah. Okay, uh, let's see. So we need more workers for that. So let's upgrade this neighborhood our editorial section is sure to grow along with your city we are fine-tuning the first issue as we speak good like the gift offered by the residents oh I'm never afraid to ask twice uh, the worker has something for you collect the off the gift offered by the residents Are we to be overlooked? We all like a nasty orchard. Sure. Oh, now I got a it. A promise kept. Guess I had to zoom out a bit. All right, now we have a drill. I have discovered some inefficiencies we ought to address. Up in the trade union, we don't have that yet. All right, we need more workers. Go, go, go. Well, let's increase efficiency. Oh, 
More lumber is needed. Alright, yeah, we need we need much more uh, lumber mills. Thaw mills. Okay, let's see. We need to add more homes. Oh, there's some wood there for free. Anything else we can clear? Let's take a peek. You get free wood for finding that stuff, so you may as well take advantage of it. We'll do everything on this side of the river. Looking good. Okay. Uh, let's see, attract 150 workers now. Oh, they need supply, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty close. Wait for Edvard to contact you about the debt to get your shipping license, build a trade union, and equip the drill at the trade union. Wait, what's the drill good for? Productivity plus 25% affects clay pits, saltpeter works, sand mines, limestone quarries, oil wells. I guess we have to build it up here. lumber for that. 25. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, thank you very much for 20 months as a member. Thanks for smashing that join button and becoming a member yet again. Got the pizza from uh, Pomodoro's. Watching Raptor play one of my favorite games on lunch break. Feeling good. Hey, good. 10 out of 10 day. Let's get some ones in the chat, too, for the number one community out there. And everybody, let me know where you're watching from today, too. Welcome back to, uh, I guess, our second playthrough of the Anno 1800 campaign. And, man, I am so happy that all the DLCs can be played with this, too. That's cool. It probably doesn't unlock a lot of the stuff until after we beat the campaign, because then it becomes a sandbox mode. But it's still pretty cool to see most of the stuff here. Like a lot of decorations and things we can toy around with. It's pretty neat. One's in the chat. Let me know where you're at. Yeah. Ooh, there's something called an oil spring over there. I wonder if there'll be a cold winter then. More free bricks. That's good. All right, so we need more lumber. We're at 23. We gotta start making some more logs. Bum, 
Red Eyed Sniper, welcome back as a Raptor Hatchling. Whoa! And a Blue Eye 2. Long term support. Thank you very much for your kindness and support. Good to see you in the chat. I'm mostly designing my city just to look pretty, so if there's in any inefficiency, it's just more just for the gorgeousness of the design. I've noticed that they've added a lot of things just to make the game, or to make making a pretty city more of the main thing, because obviously with the previous season's DLC with the um, tourists and the, the High Life DLC, you want your city to look nice too. Lots of beautiful brickwork and bronze and... Um, gorgeous, just like uh, flying buttresses made of steel or whatever, you know, just beautiful ironwork. Everything being artistic and decorative. Not just, you know, building iron for the sake of it, but really making it look gorgeous. Assuredly, she's a fine ship. Like, obviously, some of the dock stuff looks a little ugly, but eventually you can make some really beautiful looking buildings. It's crazy. You're the reason I play city games like this? That's awesome. Welcome. Alan, with the 19 months as a little raptor, thank you, dude, for renewing the membership. Thanks for smacking that join button becoming a member. Or renewing your membership. Thanks again. A little far from a warehouse over here. Let's build another logging camp. And a warehouse nearby. Yeah, right, there we go. Keeping those all tucked in nicely by the mountain. When you play this, it's interesting. Each time you play, if you kind of try to go for like a different thing each time you play, it really changes your play style. Like sometimes you go for efficiency, sometimes you go for beauty, sometimes you go for a balance, sometimes you go for like maximum money output, other times you go for like a military build. You got to do different things, you know. Did the ramen button leave? No, I... The ramen packet should always be there. Is it? Is it gone? We should have the ramen packet. Sometimes we gotta move things around to make room for new emotes, but... If we get enough new members, it'll unlock a new emote slot for us, so... If everybody, if everybody smashes join and becomes a member, we'll get a new emote. That'll be cool. That's just what happens. Listen to that. Oh, the rain! I hear a bear. <laughs> All right, let's build ourselves the uh, trade union. Let's hop in that drill. Job done. Yeah, for promises to be kept. Thank you. You got it, ma'am. All right, now we need 150 workers. Let's do that. You reach a new milestone. Port town. Nice. Now we can build lots of stuff. You have father's fortitude. These people will follow you as they once followed him. Good. All right, let's keep growing the city. What are we doing on wood? We got 24. Your worthless rags have barely covered anything. Now, bring me sails. It's not like you have any use for them. Wow. This guy's a delight. Clearly, Uncle's intention is to keep us from ever owning a shipyard. Okay, let's make sails. Everything you've built so far consumed wood. We'll be needing more of it to continue. I can't, like, build there for some reason. Oh, finally, we can build nice pier... Oh, look at that. Can we build pier roads? I don't think we can do that, though. Oh, maybe we can. 
Well, they made it a lot easier to build on the uh, on the shore. Nice. That shore is a good idea. Okay, uh, we need to make bricks. That requires more lumber, so let's do that. You never played Anno 1404? Uh, yeah, 1404 is fantastic. Uh, actually, really, honestly, all the Anno games are good. I think 1800 might be the most accessible right now because it does a lot of good things to help you to learn or whatnot, but... All the other Anno games are fantastic. Dude, look at that ship, man. Looking good. Okay, we need to now have four sails and storage. And we need more goods. AKA more wool. Nice day for it. Tim T, thanks for the seven months as a hatchling. They did a great job with the landscape and the sound effects. Absolutely. I wish we could listen to the music too, but it's like, it's a lot of it's copy right now. They added a lot more songs. But I mean, just look at that. I mean, that's just, that's beautiful. Just beautiful. It's got to be one of my favorite games of all time. Even though I get exhausted with it every once in a while, you know? But you know it's a good game when you take a break and you, after a while, you just want to come on back and do it again. Anno 18 every, Anno 1800 is everything you wanted from a game. I agree. A little bit of combat, a little bit of industrial, a uh, little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of Monica in my life. All good stuff. Oh, we can build trees now. Slacking. I'll just build a road there. There we go. Okay, cool. Dude, they added so many things. Like, you used to not be able to build roads out at the pier, I think. But that must be part of the port DLC or something. I, or, or, like, part of an update. Sometimes they do updates that are related. Uh, build a small warehouse to connect to the trading post via the street. Excuse me, ma'am? What we need is just more wool to be delivered. Let's increase that a little bit more. We'll be making a, I think what I'll do is a video soon too, covering all the new stuff coming to uh, Anno 1800 as well. We, we kind of took a look at that a couple of weeks ago. There was a live stream, or about a week ago. They talked about the Hacienda and the new things coming with the Ch Seeds of Change DLC. There's airships and new stuff coming too, or more airships. The game already does have airships, kind of, but not, not in the scale in which they're going to add. So there's a little fantasy stuff coming in the future. I like a little, a little possible, you know, fiction in there. You know what I mean? Like it's, you know, it's not like they're making spaceships that go to the moon. They're making airships, which seems somewhat believable. All right, so now we're supplying goods to the uh, to the sails. Looks like it's starting to come in. We're gonna play this like just super casually, super chill, and also try to make our City look awesome. Fifteen bricks, and we can make a upgrade to the docks. Let's make a brickworks now. 
two brick works. And now we need more workers. There we go. No, this is not on Steam, but you can get it on uh, Epic Game Store right now. Just use the code Raptoria at checkout. Otherwise, it'll be free from April 9th to the 12th in honor of a new DLC that comes out on the 12th, which is Season 4, which allows us to build haciendas in the New World. So what we could do is what we're doing right now with the campaign, we could beat the campaign over the next couple of days, and then when you beat the campaign, it becomes sandbox mode. You can start the game solely in sandbox if you want to, or you can play the campaign and then go into a sandbox mode too, and that seems pretty fun as well. And you can access all the DLCs from the campaign. Pretty pretty amazing what they've done. What's up, Trikey? How you doing? Just listen to that, man. I hope it's not gruel today. It's one of the most ridiculously beautiful games of all time. No wonder they've added so much more to making a beautiful city. Anno is very much about like spreadsheeting and maximi min maxing stuff, but also when a game's so pretty, do you really want to pave paradise and put up a parking lot? Yeah, it is pretty shameful that they they did they were going to release this on Steam and then they backed out. It's on the Uplay store and um, on Epic, but I assume that was probably a Ubisoft decision and not. I'm sure Epic paid them a ton of money to make it either on Epic or Ubisoft and not on Steam, so. I'm sure even more people would be playing this if it were on Steam. But that's on the publisher, not on the developers. I'm sure the people who make this game had nothing to do with that decision. They want ev they want everybody to play their game. Oh, God. No, not the bar! No! <laughs> Dear God, no. Not the pub. No. Where are we going to have shenanigans and shindigs? Where are my sails? Nothing you do will lift the cloud. Okay, Snape. Haven't seen a prison transport of mine, have you? If you do, uh, be sure to return any salvage to me. Edward demands that you pick up the cargo from a shipwreck. A prison ship? Oh. All right, we'll uh, lower the sails and make way. Well, I guess we could we can officially say the bar is the hottest place in town. Oh, here comes the firefighters. Can't be a humble spud. Oh, look, it's me, Alex, and uh, Red and everyone else playing Into the Flames. Damn. They put in so many details and stuff into this game. It's amazing. Uh, there it is. Ooh, a new island discovered. Well, we already knew that was there. Sir Archibald Blake is next door. We picked up prisoners and... Saved. Watson. Do you also then save us from a grievous injustice? Uh, Edward's sure. charges against us are pure fabrication. The man is an imposter. A letter. It bears Edward's seal. Don't even think about sheltering Samuel's coke and spiriters. Deliver them to prison at once, and I might lift your debt. Bring Edvard's political prisoners to Eli Bleakworth. Open the letter. He's clearly up to no good. Hell no, I ain't doing that. I'm opening that letter. However much we despise Uncle Edvard, it's criminal to go opening his private correspondence. What? Ma'am, what are you, the... are you the 5-0?
I don't know, chat, what do you think we should do? Should we open the letter or should we deliver the prisoners? I'll let you decide. One, to open the letter. Two, to send the political prisoners back to prison. What should we do? One or two? One, we open the, uh... We open the letter and find out what they're up to, or... We send the prisoners back to prison. Two? Okay. Alright, let's send them back to prison. Oh, you want to open the letter? Oh, okay. Alright then. Dear Governor Bleakworth, more of the Traitor Samuel's conspirators. Crimes and sentences as follows. Ernest Sterling, use of foul language. 16 years with hard labor. Uh, Verity Goodhart, impersonation, transportation to the antipodes. Elias Noble, writing a threatening letter. Life in prison. Verona Decent, character assassination, life imprisonment. <laughs> Whoa! This guy is clearly getting rid of people who are like problems for him. The judge saw very well my view and any lack of proof that they conspired with the traitor was in itself evidence that they were hiding something. All things considered, his verdict would, uh, could have been far worse. I'm under no obligation to explain what uh, such details. I thought that as a fellow dispenser of justice, the facts of the case may be of interest to you. Sincerely, Edward, Edward Goodwin. Or Good, Goodson, or whatever the hell. It cannot be. These names are those father trusted most. Barristers, doctors, academics. Mm. Interesting. Even I am astonished he could be this corrupt. We must put their cases before the highest authority and hope for a retrial. He certainly knows how to silence his critics. Indeed he does. Wow. Uh, bring the prisoners to Sir Archibald Blake or bring them back to the... Ah, uh, we're gonna give them to Blake. Sir Archibald Blake, he's not being nice. Alright, let's go drop the prisoners off. Wow. You're tying the knot! Never! <laughs> Oh, it's raining again? Look at how the game looks at nighttime, too. It's amazing. Hey, look at this. Wow. It's so pretty. What is it you are bringing? Keep in mind, by the way, that like once we start supplying electricity to the island, things get even brighter. And the street lights will be on and stuff. There's no electricity there yet. They don't have power yet. But like later on, when you start making electricity, mm, city lights, beautiful. Did he really? Oh dear. Uh, best leave these poor people with me. I will tell Edvard that the debt between you is quite settled. Now. Yeah. That was none of your business. And what right has the Crown to meddle in my accounts? What right? Well, sir, it seems like you're arresting people we for no... We are all of us quite moved by your selfless actions. Your father would be proud. I am so relieved our legitimacy is no longer in question. Uh, me too, ma'am. Hurry! I already smell the tar. See the masts are swaying from father's study. All right, next is to build a sailing ship. Oh, we're going to build ships now? All right, time to build some ships. Um, workers. Small harbor, sailing shipyard. Let's build it over here. Actually, that's a good spot.
Oh, that makes making buildings on the shore so much easier. You love the game you found me through this? Love seeing it again? Yeah, I haven't played this since 2019, and now that there's like all this new DLC and new, you know, content and stuff, it's so worth a playthrough again. It's a surprise inspection. Looks like we're making a lot of clay. So we could probably make more brick houses. Maybe we could make one down here. I, I plan to have an industrial area down this way. Alloy, you get the yellow eye in seven days. Congratulations. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you for being a member. They're going to want sausages, too. I don't want to put too many brick thingies over there. I want to split things up a little bit. Maybe we'll put the uh, sail things over here. Yeah. More brickyards there, nice. Gotta have things look nice. I love that you can move buildings after. Yeah, then it, it helps for replanning and new unlocks. Very helpful. Very helpful indeed. All right, we need 25 bricks. So now we've increased our brick production. Should have another clay pit around. There's one. Another one closer. One there. And there. So those are the only other two a really good island. A competitor raised a settlement. Uh-oh. A grain of my trust in humanity, eldest. Uh, thank you, sister. Cade with the big O20. I'm glad you're playing this campaign again. I'm reinstalling now and we'll be playing it after work. Yeah! I was really excited to find out that all the DLCs and stuff are integrated with this as well. And again, remember, after you beat the campaign, you can do um, sandbox mode. And this is really cool because once you beat the main campaign, then you can move on to the other, like, uh, other side campaigns. Like, you can go to the, uh, the uh, Arctic Pass or whatever. You can go to Africa. You can... Well, then when the new DLC comes out on the 12th, then you can go to um, the New World and start building haciendas. And with all the new stuff, you can delete a lot of your... Like, that's what's exciting about when a new DLC comes out, you can go into your city and be like, oh, wow, now I got all this new stuff to build. So you can, like, delete a section and, like, upgrade and... Like, redesign stuff accordingly. It's really cool. I love it. I want to build a little farm area up here for some of the workers. Hmm. I want to build a little town up here. On every street corner in no time. Oh, there's the DLC right there. Silos, key to animal husbandry. Agribusinesses uh, to take the spotlight. Animal farms all around the world. Class silos is essential. Using smart distribution systems, fodder is stocked and easily fed to livestock, turning grazing into a faster process. We can't wait to see what Raptors Farms can achieve to help of, with the help of silos. Also, with the new DLC, the seeds that change. Um, I know you're busy. Fertilizer. But I have a favor to ask. You'll be able to do stuff with fertilizer. Manure will become more of an important thing. 
Uh, you want me to build a silo on a pig farm? Okay. I haven't I haven't done the pig farming yet, ma'am. I'll get to that in a moment. Oh, the pig farms are a mess. Let's build another thing for potatoes. We put our love into this. Time for a nap in the hay. nice want to try to preserve all the trees this game reminds you of Tropico 5 yeah, there's a little bit of Tropico in here with all the islands and stuff for sure and yeah, we need some of this area for pig farms build a little farming district up here. Okay, we're only going to need more and more farmers' residents. Obviously, we're trying to maintain some of the beauty to the island. Try not to cut out as many trees as as we can. Okay, good. Now we got enough workers for stuff for now, but now we're gonna do the pigs. Pigs require farmers. But now that we got the DLC, we might not need as many pig farms. Because we can build a silo here. It's going to take more wood. That's pretty cool. So one of those DLCs, the um, Bright Harvest DLC, allows us to maximize the output of pork. Yep, now we're making bacon. Not a good idea near the river. It's fine. It's the 1800s. Disease doesn't exist. Until it wipes out an entire city. It's fine. Deliver grain to the pig's silo. Oh, we can't do that yet. 
Oh, we need a grain farm now. We'll build a farm up here. Oh, there's a thing in the way. Fire runs wild. Fight this inferno fast. Yeah, we better build a fire department over here. Let's see. Hopefully that gives us free wood. Yay! I love the differences in the trees, too. That dark... The, the very dark um, evergreen trees and fir trees and stuff. It's gorgeous. Oh, we need a spot for a beautiful bridge. No, bear. Quiet. We'll be building it over here anyway for mining coal and iron. Alright, this will be a farm field. Quiet, bear. Leave me alone. Even Anno 1800 has to have bears. Why? Wow, you binged over 100 videos of Anno 1800? That's awesome. This is the first time I've done the uh, campaign in like... Well, since 2019, and the first time I've done it live, and so this allows for a much more chill experience, and with all the new stuff they've added for decorative items, it's perfect. It's, it's what, I, what I needed right now. It's what I needed. Build something there. Maybe we'll put windmills down there. Oh my god. Booster, are you in the chat? We're about to build the thing. We're gonna do the thing, Booster. Oh yeah, there he is. He Good. needs a warehouse, you do. Yes, I do, ma'am. Okay, I need a warehouse, I do. So let's build a warehouse. Meow. That looked cool. And we gotta make it into bread. Another need for the workers. <gasps> uh, but windmills have to be put, put somewhere beautiful. Facing away from the ocean? Okay. Those are definitely a, a Dutch style windmill for sure. What's up, Funkhauser? Good to see you. Now, you, you can place windmills and stuff anywhere. I'm just doing stuff because, you know, I want to.
almost like a lighthouse. It's a it's a windmill Where and a lighthouse. Gorgeous. And then we can build a bakery now in the town. Oh, the quest. These are good times. Could they be even better? Will you work your magic for us? What we do so love to see. A little love is all we ever wanted. Ooh, a power loom. That makes uh, the spinnery faster. Wait, does that affect... Does that affect clothing making and sail making? Affects all cloth industries. Oh, okay. Or all cloth industries. Well, I would assume making sails is a cloth industry. But would also that benefit the sheep farm? Question mark. Let's test that. Productivity plus 35%. I don't think so. But, we can put it down here. And then we can move the uh, clothing making closer up to here. Oh, now we gotta reorganize things. That's so cool. I love it. Look sharp, the governor's here. Well, these are not as efficient because we need more wool. More wool is needed. <laughs> oh, we should be able to import some. Let's see. Okay, piggies. Oh yeah, we gotta make sausages now too. Now let's focus on the uh, re reorganization of the uh, clothing industry. Man, I swear I don't remember these weather effects before. This is just astonishingly beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. All this extra space, we can just add decorations to make it look beautiful. Inferno and the fire. Where's the fire? Oh, there. Oh, we have fire departments. Oh, good. We did it. Job done. Hey, what's up, Sir Simulot? Yeah, this is a great game. Dude, our city's historic first shipyard. Yeah. We must document this moment in our first edition. Exclamation point uh, Simulot in chat, I think, is the command for his channel. Dude, you should totally redo the uh, campaign, Simulot, because I didn't know this, but all the DLCs you can play in the, um, in the base campaign. Of course, it opens up later on, you know, into Sandbox, and so you get access to more of that stuff. But the coolest thing is, of course, that, you know, it'll go right into all the other DLCs. So, once the uh, newest DLC comes out on the 12th, you'll be ready to go. Pretty! The perfect snapshot to illustrate history in the making. Dude, that guy looks... Dude, that Similot right there without glasses, dude. They made that out of him. Oh, really? I should do that? I, I'd love to see it. I love how you love the me booster you a lot of people just love this game. It's so good. Anno Chronicles, Phoenix from the Ashes. Goods heirs create a breakaway shipping company in the image of their father, who they say was a man of principle. After all, there's no surefire evidence. He did anything wrong at all. Chapter two. A sign of fire. Where there's smoke, there could be Kush. 
Yeah, like so for... you build ships like your father. Well, the queen is in the direst need of ships. So, yeah. Supporting her will go some way to healing the wounds of the past. That's cool. A commission for the royal fleet, and in such quantity, a rare honor indeed. The weaponry they ask for presents a problem. I'm not even sure we have an iron load, do we? How am I? I am great. How are you, chat? A little bit more expansion into the uh, cloth industry. Potatoes looking good. How are we doing on schnapps? Schnapps is zero. Beautiful. Oh, we need a lot more workers now. Oh yeah, because the uh, the boats take an immense amount of workers. I will say it's hard to make a beautiful city and also like to do the things you need to do. Like we need to grow our population, but it's hard to do that without making things look a little ugly. But we'll expand for now over here. Is this on Xbox Game Pass? Um, that is a good question. I'm curious to know that as well. She wants me to start mining now, but we need way more workers for that, so let's work on the... Fulfilling the needs of the people. So we need a bakery too now. That'll attract more workers. Put a bakery near the market. No, unfortunately, this is not on Steam. But you can get it on Epic Game Store. Use code Raptoria at checkout for the Supporter Creator Program if you'd like. Or you can also get it on Uplay, too. Okay, wow, we have a shortage of 100 and almost 150 workers. Boy, oh boy. I'm building cities much differently than I had before. I like this, man. Ship constructed. Got a much different um, Ready for assignment. Much different feeling than I had before. All right, gunboat requires iron, so we got to start making uh, all that stuff now. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you you could get it on Steam before release, but after the at a certain point they backed out of the pre-orders, and I think Epic approached Ubisoft like a big deal, where it's like, uh, hey, uh, here's a bunch of money. How about you go ahead and not sell it on Steam? Okay, I like money. Yeah, plus, you know, the fact that I played this game a bunch since it first came out means that I I know a, a few things. Sometimes I'm making, pur purposely making things hard on myself just to see how it'll differ. Other times I know better to do things, like, for example, having way too much lumber or wood is good because now we can uh, sell some of that. Actually, we should make sure we buy and sell. Uh, but, yeah, now we can have a lot more lumber. You want me to play more ancient cities? Absolutely. We'll be doing more of that soon. Soon. Hmm. Yeah, it's, that's a good question at whether or not it's on Game Pass. If anybody has Game Pass, could you peek for chat real quick and see if um, someone looked that up and see? I, I'm not even sure myself. All right, so now we have more than enough farmers. Now what about the workers? 
Okay, so we have a lack of clothing. But the looms are working. There ain't enough of us. Increase that. Okay, we have four sheep farms. Still not enough, then. Let's make some more over by uh, the booster district. There we go. And we're gonna need some more fish for the farmers. Workforce shortage. Oh damn, does that look nice? That looks really nice. Alright, how are we doing with schnapps? Schnapps is low. Potatoes are good. No warehouse in range. Uh. I'll build one here so we can take advantage of that other clay deposit. Yep, sound design is great. The the beautiful animations of the river. There's just so much care in this game, you know? They've tried to make it accessible. It's a very complex game, but it, there's a lot of hand-holding you can do, so even YouTubers like me can play it. Great. Oh, that's a zinc deposit. Okay. Is there iron on this island? We have copper and zinc. Limestone. Oh, yeah, there's iron over here. Coal and iron. I think. I see the iron is beyond our reach. We have no choice but to find a way through the mountain. Well. Still have a few sticks of dynamite. We can blow our way through. Amen, brother. That's a good plan. Rip dip. Get my lighter. Select the excavation site. Oh, boy. Our clothing. Clothing's too low. Looks like we need more spinneries. Or framework knitters. That'll be fine. Okay. Oh boy, we're gonna let her rip, brother. Perhaps not refined enough for your sister, but at least your workers can start their dig. Okay. Phase one of two. Excavation site requires twenty-five t uh, timber, twenty-five bricks. 20 workers and a minute and 40. In order to blow away through the ditch water's iron deposit, the abandoned tunnels first need to be secured with scaffolding before any explosive charges can be placed. Oh man, we're gonna blow it up! That will allow us to get iron. And boom goes the What dynamite. are you both doing? Demolition is a serious matter wanting proper expertise. Hey, Ma'am, I'm American, okay? Father used Mr. Ticker on account of his good sense. Go on. I suggest you find him in Bright Sands. Oh, come on. Can't we blow things up, brother? Amen. 
Oh, she never lets us have any fun. Search for demolition experts explosive shop near Edvard's timber production. Gotta be it right there. Yep. After the picket protests, many fine men left Bright Sands to join you. Then Edvard struck back. He imprisoned all who were close to your father, including my beloved Thomas. My husband and the others were deported to Wormway's prison, and I've heard nothing from him ever since. If you do find him unharmed, prithee tell him his wife yearns for his return. We are nearing the place your father died. Whatever happens, stay calm. So there you are, the traitor's children. How dare you! Thou oh, spare me the nauseating drivel. Flogging Queenie's peachy island in the new world to some rebel upstarts? <laughs> Traitor is too generous a word. Father would never have. He was the Queen's stalwart, a member of the Royal Council. He... He hung himself in one of my cells. I'd call that a rather conclusive admission of guilt. We did not come here to be insulted. We came to strike a bargain. The demolition man, Thomas. We want him. Oh, I vaguely remember him. Stubborn, with a loose mouth, just as innocent as all the others. He is small fry. A bail has been set. Pay every penny of his money, and I will place him immediately at your disposal. Well, I can't well, think well. why he'd be worth anything. Everyone here is beyond redemption. Search for the demolitions expert in the stone pit of the prison. I'm wasting away. Oh boy. All right, he's the one in the black and white stripes. Chat, can you see him? Oh boy. Be a long day. Demolition? I could demolish a proper breakfast. I was made to scrub Mr. Bleakworth's scabby back once. I'd do anything to dodge Mr. Bleakworth's treadmill, but no, I'm not your expert. I'm not going to tell you your father wasn't a traitor. Samuel Goods Engineer? Aye, that's me. Who's asking? Ooh. Pay 5,000 coin bail to the prison. Oh, God. Oh. That's the least I'm due for my suffering. Fine. Five thousand dollars it is. He is ready for transportation. Thank you. The Claw of Raptoria shall be with you shortly to acquire the prisoner. Post haste. New orders. All right, let's sell one of these ships. Maybe Sir Archibald Blake will give us money. Ooh, a ship. Pull up your braces and thrust into the unknown. Ooh, fire prevention direct uh, directive. Hmm. Oh, selling price, though, will be 14600 if we get that. Buckaroo! Uh, rescue two castaways. Fun. Use this ship to do that. Steersman! Free money. Cool. Why on earth would they uh, denominate their transactions in dollars? I guess because it's, you know, they don't call this like, it's not France or Germany or England or anything like that. They just call it the old world. So it's just an amalgamation of like all the nations from like 1850 to like the early 20s, basically. Like the, um, the latest DLC for the large tower is basically like 
twenties United like New York, you know, the building of the Empire State Building into the early nineteen hundreds into like the twenties or so. At least it feels like that. No windows, I don't want to update. Get out of here. <laughs> hey, we noticed you're doing something. Let me go ahead and shut down right now. No. Leave me alone. All right, how are we doing on supplies for our people? All right, we still need more fish. I, th I think fish is actually going up. But clothing is still a problem. So let's make a big O district here for uh, doing that. One's in the chat if you thought that was your PC. And you were thinking to yourself, oh great. What now? That's probably way too many. But we'll just build some more sheep farms over on the other side. I guess we could move these up. No, no, no. I'm gonna put like a little wall or a buffer zone between the town and the little industrial area. Although I'd much rather live next to a, a knitter's than a blacksmith or, or well, I guess in this case a, a iron smelter or whatever they call it. Okay, let's do some quests. Best book. All right. Stoner reporting. Adjust the sail. All right, let's turn that quest in. All right, command ship. Surely the choice is black and white. Ooh. What with my clean record executing justice. Pastry chef with a reduction of maintenance costs. Productivity plus 10 for charcoal kilns. That's pretty good. Maintenance, yeah, maintenance costs is cool and all, but I want productivity. But for 6,000, that's a little spendy at the moment. Alright, uh... Command the prison governor's ship to your island. Oh, good. I'll, I'll escort it back then. Keep an eye to the horizon for miscreants. Alright, we'll escort him back to our island. Alright. Phase one is complete. Phase two. Oh, no. It's all stalled because we need the. Uh, we need that guy on our island. Hey, hey, Atomic. The bottom of the sick player, Elecon, Moncora, and. Um. This is single player right now, and you can play the campaign in single player, yes, but uh, it, the campaign is solely single player. Oh man, a multiplayer campaign would be cool though. Okay, let's make some more sheep. I think we definitely need to, um... We put our love into this. Ah, you're ready. We definitely need to sell that book. Alright, let's go to our ships. Bish, bang, bibbly! There she blows! I guess this actually might be good for the trade union if we do the, uh, maybe the smelters or something. Steersman. I would sell it, but let's, let's make use of it. Okay, wait until the demolition expert arrives at the harbor. Waiting for the ship to come over. There they go now. You're going to run Anno again? He's here. Try to make a good first impression, Eldest. Any friend of father is a friend of ours. All 
All right, talk to the demolition expert who's waiting at the harbor. No space left here. Uh, that's a lot of TNT, sir, that you brought. That that is a lot of dynamite. So, I'm a commodity now to be bought and sold. Your father treated me like a human being. Uh, we paid your bail, sir. I don't know what you're trying to achieve here, but it won't bring Samuel back. All right, complete phase one. Mining for you, mining for Eli. What's the difference? Um, I'm cuter. I guess. All right, phase one underway. So we can't build the gunboat or the frigate until we've got iron. You're going to stream this tonight, Simulon? Awesome. You should. You know you want to. Bright Sands will never be matched if that's what you're set on. I think this has to be directly attached. I haven't even made a... Let's make a sausage factory. And then we'll deal with the pigs. We'll make it market fresh. I don't mind having the food production buildings in the town. That's kind of nice. I count our blessings every day. I'm good. Things are looking better. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. No warehouse in range. Okay. Let's connect now. There you go. Alright, uh, we seem to be making enough wool, yeah? Transporters here are overloaded. Busy thing to make clothes. Connect silo to warehouse. Deliver grain to pig's farm silo. I think we can do that now. This needs to actually like deliver it. Fire? Oh, there's all there is all. Production fire. has stopped. Oh, they need supplies delivered. Okay, we got enough bricks, we got enough wood. Beautiful. Mm. How about a cup of coffee? No. You've been playing for two hours. Okay, fine. 
A cup of coffee it is. Okay, cool. Alright, so that should deliver the grain to the silo. First phase is almost complete, looks like. Or at least this is filling up. Oh yeah, remaining time. 17, 16, 15. Yep, they're working. Alright, we're going to have a big boom here in a second. The boom. Done. Done. Looks better. Proper job. The fire is out of control. It's fine. Okay. Ruins in your city. Ah, up here, okay. Let's build a fire department. Yeah, we need one more center of town now. That's a better spot. All right, phase two. I'm still waiting for the boom. Oh, are you saying we have to press a red button? We are missing a vital good that cannot be produced on our island. You will have to find a way to import it. Hmm. The fire left ruins behind. Ah, that'll buff out. Finish the last phase with the help of the demolition expert. We need to import wool workers of a hundred. We're going to need a hell of a lot of workers, especially to work in those mines and stuff. We'll have more wool soon. I guess we're making uh, wicks for the, uh, the dynamite. John Wicks? I don't know what my plan is here, but... Trying to separate the farms from the brickworks, you know? A competitor raised a settlement. What are we doing on uh, wool in general? 13? Oh, I guess we could still use some more. Yeah, they're working away. Okay, yep, they're doing what they need to. This is going to take some time. Full output storage. So we're going to need to start making charcoal kilns soon. We could probably make those over here. 
Guess we'll put a warehouse on the corner to wait. Eventually. Do we get to press the the button now? Oh boy. Well, I can't light the fuse unless I have approval from chat. That means chat's going to have to hit a button. And chat knows what button that is. I'll check back in a second to see if we've got approval, as this is a democracy after all. Oh, this is pretty. I think eventually it's nice to make like a... I'm confident it's ready to go. A triple wide road, you know, so it looks pretty in the end. A to newspaper. Our patron is utterly humbling. If there is anything I can do, anything really, imagine it and we can do it. The only time he reports is when I didn't have the fire ready to go whatever bro it's important to be true to oneself all right let's click that big blue thumb up in five four three two one go who are all these busy bodies Blowing up rocks can't be that complicated. A shame you can't appreciate the craft this requires. Never mind. The charges have been primed. The perimeter cleared. We are ready to detonate. Run, homie. Boom. Apologies. That was indeed impressive. Is there anything dynamite won't solve, I wonder? Hey, that, I like the way he talks, brother. A special edition for a special happening. This makes everybody happy. Explosive development. A big blast in the mountain secures vital iron load for ambitious good siblings. Venturing into warship manufacture for the monarch herself. Iron into steel, steel into arms, and we shall have fulfilled our first royal commission. Good. Good. That's our last name. Good. All right. Before we even get into mining, I already know we're going to need a ton of workers. 190 ain't even enough. Well, we could start mining, but the whole production chain ain't going to be enough. 50 workers. There was a chance while your father still lived. Now he's dragging it out. Now he's gone. That's a sad man. All right, build a charcoal kiln, furnace, and steelworks. I think we should keep that far on this side of the island. Oh, uh, yep, we're running all the DLCs. Um... Basically, the way it'll work is when you complete the main campaign, all the D you can also play the DLCs, which kind of are their own side stories, pretty much at the same time after you beat the uh, the main story. It becomes a sandbox mode, and in sandbox, you can also do the DLCs. So, pretty cool. I'd forgotten all that. I I think th this game is gargantuan. Like it is massive, the amount of stuff you can do in this game. All right, let's build a charcoal kiln. I'm going to build those over here, though. Maybe I should go buy that fire prevention uh, guy now. Let's see what Sir Archibald Blake has for people. Experts we can hire. Sir Archibald Blake. Oh, he's got items. How may I serve? Fine spyglass. That can Increases navigation. Uh, 87,000 for the steel hull. Ooh. 
Uh, fine cake decorator. Productivity plus 30 for the bakery. Nice. Arbor master office work workforce needed negative 30 for building ships. Damn, that's good too. Ah, we don't have money for any of these though. No. Ah, forget it. We need more cash. We're, we're still dead broke. You've been here since 300,000 subs and you like the content? Well, thanks for watching, man. Appreciate hearing that. Let's build our uh, steel mills here in the uh, open. We need a furnace. <laughs> well, you know what we better build first? Fire department. And we have 90 workers. This requires 100. Let's work on getting the workforce up first. Ooh, let's start selling sales. Nice. All right, they're all on sale. And we're making good sausage now, providing the workers with bread, sausage, lots of pigs. Probably make another slaughterhouse. Somewhere. Maybe down here we can squeeze another one. For now, but we can always move it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Tutorial. Settling new islands for hops. Uh, yes, we should do that. This island has hops, and this island has hops and furs. Ooh, lots of minerals here. Uh, looks like this smaller, longer island has much more deposits for iron and stuff. Iron, coal, coal, zinc. I think we're gonna have to settle that island. Ready for assignment. I should get the book. But let's focus on maximizing this area first. Okay, let's get the workers up. That's our current goal. Happy as a pig in mo Okay, we need more fish. Fishy fish. Full of lumber. Okay. Fifty lumber, fifty bricks. Actually, we'll bring extras. There we go. Okay, we're ready to settle a new island. I think this one's best. At least for our iron production and such. And it's closer. Oh, there's a small island here, too. Oh, but we can't grow hops here. Eh. Not, not great, that island. Yeah, this is on the Epic Game Store. You can get it with the code Raptoria at checkout if you'd like to. Uh, it's not available on Steam, though. Not anymore. Oh, do we need steel as well to build one of those? Oh, do we? Oh, I forgot, yeah. Thank you for the reminder. Alright, well, we'll get to work on the workers so we can then build a steel mill. A warehouse and range? Hm, thought that was close enough. Cool. All right, so now we're making iron and charcoal. Now we got to build the smelters. 
Oh, cool. That's probably not going to be enough. Look busy, people. They could overlap a little bit. Keep that way away from the city. Are we winning? I think so. I mean, we're just having a good time. We're really... It's just chill. We're just being real chill right now. Chat, you better have your beanies on because we're just being real chill right now. Okay, so build a furnace and a steel works. So we'll wait until we have, like, a lot more workforce for that. Is there a side objective we can do in the meantime? Let's be productive. Let's get some jobs going. Why not share some of my daily hell with you? A tiny crack of light. Pick up proof. Okay, we'll send the claw raptoria somewhere over there. All right, ship's on the way. Do that later. Gunboat, we'll have to do the first industrial evolution part first. Still no upgrades. We want more fish. I'll do. We have four fishing docks. Do we need more? Ooh, it's raining again. Nice. You tried Planet Crafter today? First video in it is about an hour. The game is so cool. Yeah, Planet Crafter is wonderful. It uh, reminds me of another game that chat mentioned called Osiris, Osiris, I think, New Dawn, I think it's called. I'll be playing that soon, too. Damn, this is beautiful, man. Look at that. Get yourself a cup of coffee and play the Anno 1800 campaign again if you haven't already. It's great. That, that is just beautiful. That rain and the environment. Just listen to the sounds of Anno. Listen to that. The sound design alone is just like, wow. Anno just hits different. The campaign really allows you to slow down, too. Like, when you're doing single-player sandbox or multiplayer, you want to, like, build fast. But it's like, nah. This is a very peaceful city builder, so long as you don't really stress too much about maximizing. Just build it because it looks pretty. Alright, finally we have enough fish, and thus we can have enough workers. Almost enough workers. 240. That'll do. Alright, a furnace now. I won't build past the fire department. Are we importing logs and bricks? No, I don't think so. You are trying, at least. I know Samuel wouldn't have given up. There is no shame in producing weapons if it is in defense of the realm, eldest. I am the Princess Ching. Please, I am curious about your otherworldly customs. Oh, the princess. Hello, Princess Xing. Dude, I hope we get to go to Asia. I hope Season 5 is going to, uh, to Asia in the 1800s and being able to see all sorts of different styled boats and buildings and stuff. Oh, that would be so amazing. Because we got to go to Africa. Why not, why not, go, in, not, why not go to Asia?
or India. Ooh. There'll be a lot of DLCs for that one. If they don't do that, that's like a massive missed opportunity. Alright, build weapons factory. Pick up proof. Deliver. What's the name of our country? Well, our nation, as we always say, is Raptoria, but for now it's ditch water until until otherwise. Have your investigations been fruitful? Yes. Case closed. I guess we should start selling lumber. Let's hold no more than like hundred. Wait, did I okay, yep, we're good. Wait. Looks like we're going to be making a lot of ships, so I want to hold on to some of those. Bricks we're fine on. Hey, congratulations, Tyler, on the yellow eye. Also, Sir Simulata, it might be a good idea to uh, disable the music. After the uh, first season DLC, they've added a bunch of, and you probably know that, they added a bunch of new music which in which some of it's uh, a little troublesome. If that's a concern of yours. Just be mindful. This city will be a credit to our family. You'll see. Okay, sir. All right, we made our first iron. Awesome. So once we get eight, we can build the weapons factory. And then we start making uh, battleships and stuff. Ah, yes, the Raptorian Navy will grow. Fools. They don't yet know our true power. Let's see. We could expand the neighborhood over again. All right, now, let's check out what the farmers got. Oh, they're good, okay. And Not the workers? Much, no matter, common dignity. Soap and a school. Can't do the school or the soap, I think, without iron, yep. So we gotta wait on more iron to come in. Red, you got food? Oh, awesome, man. What are you snacking on? Your, your Cornish pasties? You've been a member for two years and 25 days? Thank you, dude, for your support, Sir Simulat. Thank you. Are we making enough flour? Actually, I th I, we need to make more grain because we have some piggies that are eating... Oh, that's why the pigs are so productive, is because we have a silo. That increases their productiveness amazingly. And you know what? We're going to need to make beer eventually, and we will settle that other city for hops, or that other island. So let's make another farm. A couple more farms. Cheese and salami bagel? Damn. Sounds good. Trade union near the steelworks. Good idea. I like the way you think, chat. I'll start with one for now.
don't know if I have anybody or anything that's effective for that, but... Oh, it reduces maintenance costs. No, chance of fire. Well, let's go with that, then. I'll probably re end up regretting that. Actually, let's turn that off, because li we literally have a fire department right there. Yeah, the new expansions look cool. There's going to be a new one out on... Um, on uh, the 12th. Hello from Brazil. What's up? Good to see you. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Welcome. As a... Uh, this is a reminder, too, by the way, with, with uh, we're going to be doing some multiplayer this weekend, so for those of you who are members, or if you'd like to become a member, smash that join button, and I think we can play up to 16 people for multiplayer this weekend, and this game will be free for everybody on April 9th to April 12th, so um, don't forget to uh, smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for the live streams that'll take place on the weekend. And then if you'd like to become a member, lots and lots and lots of extra perks, custom emotes. I have an artist team that makes emotes and stuff for all you guys. Not to mention giveaways and such in the Discord for everybody all the time. So make sure you uh, jump on there as well. And smash like if you like Anno 1800, I guess. Because I'm in the mood to play a lot more Anno. So I'm, I'm pretty happy and excited today. Know that any assistance may influence Her Majesty's sphere. Ooh, movement speed plus seven for our ship. Righty ho! All right, let's go pick up some flotsam. And I remember at the beginning of this game too, like some of the oh man, shipping and stuff used to be much more tedious and annoying and stuff, and they've added so many cool things to uh, to make it um, easier. Yeah, the game will be free for a few days on like Epic and You Play Store for the. For the weekend, so everyone can come play with me, and we'll, you know, have a big O excursion. But then we'll be doing some, um, we're basically getting ready for the uh, new DLC that'll be coming soon. Alright, we should be able to get a bunch of money pretty soon from selling these ships. Schooner reporting. In fact, while we wait, I guess we can make more boats. We got enough iron. Let's make four. We can sell those for big money. Anno 2205. I haven't really played that one, but I'd like to in the future. All right, we've almost got enough steel beams. Yeah, you can come play Sir Simlap. Uh, there's, it's actually, uh, I, I want to try out the multiplayer where you can have multi multiple people like build a city, I'm, I'm pretty sure. so. But there's also like a, a scenario about building a hydroelectric dam that's... I think I missed out on. I'm excited to do that. CW, welcome back as a raptor egg. Thanks for smash and join. We assist however we may. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Let's go sell this boat and get some money. We got to be concerned about cash now. And now, I find now we're myself making, looking making up weapons. to you, as the youngest often will. What's the best anno? I love this one. Oh no. I run things around here in me own little way, like. Uh oh. Okay. Starting to find the competitors now. Wow, she's got brick roads. Alright. Nouveau's arrivees like wise on Wibbly, eh? Stick by me and you come good. Uh, okay. Willie Wibblesock's great ability is to break even the most joyful silence. We'll upgrade more roads later. Well, it'd be nice to have a better movement speed soon. We can get more tasks done. Ah, yes. The bright young sapling. All right, good. We get like 2,500 per boat. 
So we can make some good money until we've got like a trade route up. Selling ships. You think 1503 was your favorite Anno game? That's a good one too. I like 1404. I love Anno 1800. This is probably like the coolest with the electricity and the... Oh, that's a big thing when like you can start producing oil and, um, and electricity. Okay, so next we gotta make a schooner, but we need more guns. It's gonna take a while. But Anno's not a fast game. It's a very slow, long... Ship constructed. Tedious grind. And it's fun. Best way to make money is to sell extra special goods like rum. And we'll need to go to the New World for that. Oh. We're collecting naval sea mines. Uh-oh. Better be careful with those. The fire is out of control. Really? It's... Fire department's right down the street. I think we're going to need a bakery and another flour mill. No, flour mill's fine. We could build another break, a little bakery then. Oh boy, the industrialization begins. Oh boy, there's oil there too. What's up, Saima? How you doing? We're taking ev We've made one gun so far. Good. I present my humble duty to you. That's a good way to fill up with cash for a little bit. Alright, let's get some more workers so we can get more iron pumping out. Gotta pump some iron. Ship constructed. More ships on the way. Fire left ruins behind. And we still need more schnapps. Might need some more taters, too. We'll do some more schnapps here.
Yep, we're making bread. We got bread going. Brought some joy. I am quite penetrated by your kindness. Wow. Should be close enough to the two warehouses there. Okay. All right, what else do we got? Flowers fine, grain we'll still need more of. Sales are being sold. Clothing sold, fish sold. And supplies will be delivered soon. Okay, hopefully that helps out. Anyone for croquet? There Ship we go. constructed. Stoner reporting. I feel it reflects the times. Uh, that's a lie. City becomes uglier if you mean more profitable. That's also a lie. No changes. Really? Uh. That you live with the shame in your paper is admirable. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we can build a school now. And a church, too, yeah. Ooh. A okay, beer, but we need hops, but we need more steel to do that. We'll stay focused on the objective first. So two gunboats and a frigate are next. I present my humble... Gunboat requires seven cannons. Wow. How long have I had this channel for? Since 2005. When I look into your people's faces, I see trouble. Make sure their misery doesn't become a problem. Raise worker happiness. I agree. Let's build a soap factory. Ship constructed. That's a good spot to put that.
Okay, so now we can make soap. That's another thing to sell. How are we doing on pub coverage? We'll build another pub over here. All right, what are we going to name that pub, chat? What should we name our second pub? The gym. Hey, honey, I'm going to the gym. Okay, love you. City's looking nice. Good. Profits are increasing a little bit. I got me family. Should build another pub up here too. There, Travelers Inn is up there now. Good. Happiness went from four to eight. Excellent. Well, that's workers' happiness. So what else they want? Oh, they probably want beer. Uh, so we can settle that other island. We just need more steel beams. Ship constructed. Taking the initiative. Okay, we should be able to make a gunboat now. And how many do we need for a frigate? Ten? Oh, we need to unlock our... Wait, what? Frigate one, we have to unlock our... Artesians before we do that. Oh, so we just need a soap in school. Okay, we're good. Alright, so now we're unlocking the third tier. Artisans. Artisans is what we need. Pig in paradise. <laughs> Yeah, okay. The backwash. Chat, what? I don't think you want anybody to go to the pub. Let's build a school. Maybe over... Hmm. Kind of a good spot here. Or we could build it. Oh, actually, right here would be good. That requires 20 steel? My goodness. That's a crazy amount. Okay. Wow, schnapps is still at zero? Well, I did just add a ton of new farmers. That makes sense. Ah, good. The profits are coming up again. Are there finite resources like the iron? Uh, no. It's more about, like, um, creating, like, items per minute or whatever. It's, you know, about ratios and such. Like, 
if you're making, um, well, let's say you're making uh, iron, and uh, iron can make like uh, five iron ore per minute, and uh, an iron smelter can process 2.5 per minute, then you, you gotta like do, you know, like a two to one kind of thing. So like all ratios and timing. Ship constructed. It's pretty cool. You can't bring back your father, but his spirit. The land can only be farmed if there are enough fields. We must plant them. You run out of resources? Well, as you grow, you gotta scale. You gotta scale up. Alright, hopefully that produces more taters. We also need to start upgrading roads, but that's expensive. Later on, we'll do that. Oh, we're finally profitable, ladies and gentlemen. Finally. Tyler Long with the Big O-10. Great content. Thanks, Raptor. Looking forward to replaying this game. Thank you, dude, for sending a Big O Super Chat. And I hope you're all excited to... I would highly recommend, like, spend this weekend playing the campaign again. Or Sandbox and just getting ready for the DLC and, like, restart fresh. Fresh new take on a classic. Alright, this is good. We're still not making enough schnapps, but... Um, gunboat. Did that get made? Yes. We just need 20 steel to build the school. Where's the, uh, gunboat? Oh, good. Look at all these boats ready for sale. Aye! What a jolly, jolly surprise. Wow, gunboat sell for 6,000. Taking the initiative. And we don't want to sell our flagship. Not yet, anyway. We never will. It's our flagship. We can't let that happen. Yeah, this is on the Epic Game Store. You can use code Raptoria at checkout in order to get it uh, today. The, the game will also be free on the weekend. You can also get it on the Uplay Store. It'll be free from the 9th to the 12th, though, in honor of the new DLC. But it could go on sale too, so you might you might want to wait a couple days to see if it goes on sale. It might not, but who knows? Anything's possible. All right, we got to get on. We're building a navy now. That's good. I'll do. Profits are down. Let's check the numbers again. Stops are still low. We'll let that even out. I can't believe the amount of schnapps we've got here. And then as soon as we can, we'll build a new island for the beer. That's going to be the only thing lacking that for a while. What are we doing on soap? I'm starting to wonder if you can't turn things around. Yep, Frostpunk will be playing that again soon, too. With the new... Uh, with the new Frostpunk coming soon, we'll play through the first one again. That'll be cool. looks nice. Oh good, we have 11 cannons, which means we should be able to make our next ship with artisans, which requires a school. Oh, we need more steel beams, though. Hey, money's coming up. Good. And we're making more soap. Excellent. Schnapps is needed. 
All right, let's build a gunboat. Let's build another schooner while we wait for the artisans to be unlocked. Finally have enough cannons for more of those. We'll double down. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, this was instant classic, and I, I think the DLCs... I don't know. The, the more updates and stuff, they, they've, they've taken the things that are... Uh, the, ga the game is supposed to be a grind. It definitely should be a little uh, tedious to play. Some some certain things should be, because it's a nano game. But other things are nicely optimized with all the trade and stuff. Once we build our second island, then things get a lot more interesting with naval escorts and the ability to uh, trade and going to the new world. We gotta take our first look at the new world in this playthrough. Ah, some nice apple trees near the uh, sausage factory. Applesauce and pork chops go together nicely. Hey, workers' happiness is almost to 10. All right. All right. Well, it's now stable, finally. Uh, the new world has become more fun lately with the orchards. Oh, there's orchards and stuff now in the new world? Yeah, the new world kind of just used to be like get in, get out kind of thing. Like you'd go to the new world, pump out the oil, and then that was pretty much it. Like there wasn't really too much uh, gold and a few other things that, that are there, tobacco and whatnot. But the main reason you'd go there is just for the oil for the power plants so you could expand in the old world, but... I do like a reason to go back to the uh, the old world and make it nicer. Oh yeah, sit yeah okay. They have new stuff to grow there. Yeah, yeah. The hacienda is coming soon on the twelfth. We'll expand upon that too. And there's a new scenario coming, so we're gonna play through that. There's a new scenario and new uh, stuff coming. So so we'll be doing more on this save, and we'll be doing more on a, a scenario as well. It'll be cool. Ship constructed. I haven't played this since the Tourism DLC of Season 3, or the, um, and I haven't played the High, the high Life uh, DLC yet either, although I, I own all that stuff. That worked out perfectly. We're short on some workers. Time for another market. Have I seen the Crown Falls yet? It's the ultimate gift for the gamer. No, what is that? Is that the uh, is that the one where you build? I know there's a update where you can build a dam now. I saw the scenario, but I, I haven't done that before. I'm excited to get into some of the stuff I've seen before. Basically a huge island. Oh, isn't that the one that came with the sunken treasure DLC? And what isn't it? Tel Tel Telwani or something like that? I don't know, I've seen everything except for the stuff in season three. Unless Crown Falls is part of the tourism thing.
All right, so now hopefully with the market here, that'll expand our reach. And we need more bread and then beer, but can't do that yet. Pull the bakery. Damn, the rain is so good, dude. The, the rain is so good in this game. So, so good. Okay, let's make a couple more sales. Oh, new quest. Pull up your braces, Dolly Roger. Anyone for croquet? Ship constructed. Good, more ships coming out. Hmm. All right, so we're almost done. Oh, we need the school now. Oh, wait, 20. We need 20 iron. Knops, oh, upgrade. Knops is increasing, good. Can't believe it, we have no beer on this island. Is life even worth living? Let's see. Wait minutes to go rescue Tom Hanks. Okay. How how are these games so relaxing and a little stressful? Yeah, it's a good, it's a good balance. Like if you're playing multiplayer and being competitive, it can definitely be like a super tedious, heart pounding experience to try to like maximize everything and do it quickly. On the other hand, you play at your own pace. Ready for assignment. If you're playing a uh, single player or Sir sandbox. Archibald Blake. I think the most satisfying thing for me is just to make a beautiful city that just works. It's like be making an efficient city is well, there's like a method to that madness, but to make to make something beautiful, it's like I kinda want to change it each and every time. Wow, we're profitable. I can't believe it. Oh, the workers are at 9 out of 10. Oh, the school will definitely trigger that to go to 10 out of 10. Also, the bread that we're making. Bread should be increasing. But oh, we can make more. What are we doing on fl uh, flour? 60? Oh, yeah, we're good. Let's make a bakery on the other side of the pub. There we go. Ship constructed. We're coming, pal. We got you. Wow, this mission is going to be easier to complete than clicking and tapping and join to become a member today. I forgot what the button looked like, though. Yeah, does anyone remember what the join button looks like? I, for I forgot conveniently at this point in time. So forgetful lately. Jeez. Does anyone remember? Yeah, I do like to do multiple. Yeah, you, you only need single lane roads, but like when you're going for like making things look beautiful, sometimes it's nicer, especially if you're building like a palace or something, like to build a road like this. And having like these beautiful avenues and whatnot. There's lots of options to make like double wide roads. You don't really 
it's a waste of materials, but is it really? If you're proud of your city, if you look at it and you're, you sit back and you go, yeah, that's nice. Then it was an investment, not a waste. Otherwise, you end up with a city that looks so congested and, like, too cluttered. You want avenues and boulevards, streets, roads, dirt roads, back roads, country roads to take you home. All right, let's build that school. It's no bright sands, but it really is something. And that should increase workers' happiness shortly. Wow, they got everything they need, except for the beer. Oh, the church is... Oh, school doesn't affect that. All right, well, we can get artisans now. As soon as they fill up. And we need more iron, as usual. All right, let's get some more iron pumping. Make another steel works. So we have two forge. Damn, the sounds are so good. It's a surprise inspection. Uh, let's move this building over here. It covers most of the buildings. Actually... Wouldn't that be weird one day, like... If you went... If you got a call from your boss... And your boss called and was like, hey, um... We're going to need you to come, like, it's a day that you work, but, uh, our, 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 our business moved, like, a block down the street. Like, ima imagine if your, if your job just, like, moved, like, four blocks down the street. It was the same build, everything was the same, but it was just, like, you go to work at a different street. <laughs> like, it's essentially what we're doing. That must be very confusing. You work with the same people, you take the same route, but you just, you have to go a couple blocks further. Or maybe closer. Be very confusing. Be very confusing. All right, we got our first artisans. Let's do it. Let's go. You reached a new milestone. Yeah, fine craftsmanship. Beautiful. Ah, uh, the artisans are so snooty. Uh. How is one to exist without the finer All things I in ever life? All I ever desired oh. was a place oh. to live oh. and work. Oh. Know what Annie does with royalists? We dunk you full of fish. Ma'am, you need to calm down. Okay. Oh, the artisans want canned food and a school? Oh. All oh, right, they want sewing machines, fur coats, and university. Rum and variety theater. All right, well, now we got artisans, so we can upgrade a few things. But we still need... Oh, we need windows. Great. Yes, artisans, of course, famously known for making Windows 3.1. And eventually 95 and 98. It's a true story. Oh, the sewing machine. Yeah, they're so damn annoying to make, those sewing machines. And then you can't even produce them until you have, like, 250 artisans. So it's like, goodbye workers, hello artisans. Oh, it costs two steel beams to upgrade. Oh, boy. Let's check some supplies. Okay, we need more furnaces. And 
thus more workers. Good, good. Hey, we can build our frigate now, right? Yeah. Let's actually try to build two of the. Oh, okay. We'll try to. Lustrous jewel. We'll build another one. As soon as we can. Okay. We assist however we may. What a jolly, jolly. Turn in that quest. Coal mines? I think Brought we do coal mines. Joy. Yeah. Fish bang bibbly. There she blows. I think this island has coal mine. Yeah, it does. Are we making enough coal? We are. We don't have enough workforce. And we need more farmers now. Bum ba dum bum 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 bum. Your people are rioting. Uh, why? Where? Oh, the artisans are rioting. Oh. 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 They're out in the streets breaking a little a, a stencil over their knee. Huh. They're going to break one of their paintbrushes over their knee and be like, oh, I've had it. Okay. Are they throwing shade at me? The fur coat riots, they tipped over, they tipped over a, a shopping cart. I won't lie. Life's hard. Life's not hard, ma'am. You're just... We're taking every... Waiting for your needs to be fulfilled from the market. Life is so-so. Steel beam production is the thing to really slow you down. But well, we need like 250 artisans to unlock the stuff to really make the artisans work. Man, can't we have like all the farmers live in a skyscraper? That makes things way easier. Hmm. That's fine. Vertical farming, yeah. A special edition. Hey, we can go to Africa now. Yeah. All right, so that's one of the new DLCs unlocked. So we can start doing this in addition to the main campaign. That's cool. So that's the Land of Lions DLC. Canal is open. We can go. That's awesome. Canal to Land of Lion open. The Kul Kulzma uh, Canal to the continent of Embessa receives its first traffic of ships. Explorers are queuing up uh, at the canal docks. So eager are they to explore the lands beyond. Awesome! So you can actually play that while you do this too. So we can actually let's extend the old telescope. Oh, sir, uh, no, we're gonna wait on that one. That Africa DLC. These is sweet. fabled lands exist after all. Hold on, champ. But yeah, you can go to, you can go to uh, the Land Alliance DLC. Then there's some real good benefits to doing that as well as the uh, Arctic DLC. The Africa one actually takes quite some time though. It's very heavy story based. 
that's so cool. You can play all of them at the same time. So you can do the main campaign while also doing all the other side stuff. That's a good balance. That is so that is so good. That is so good. That that makes me happy. All right, let's get some more artisans. Oh good, now we've unlocked the new stuff for the artisans. So now... Oh, now we have access to the Docklands DLC too. Now we can make some much more complicated docks, that's awesome. Everything seems up to the minute. Yep, there it is. Docklands pull world into new era. Raptor lays foundations for revolution in seafaring infrastructures. Glimpsed plans for new Docklands hinted intricate and unparalleled new compounds, weaving a sprawling harbor complex capable of taking trade to a new level. Man, it's it's like you end up looking like uh, Hamburg at that point. If you've ever seen the Hamburg docks, boy, oh boy. Noble business this is. So let me show you. How to arrange trade contracts and build up your dock lanes. So your face does not match your voice. You want to help me build the dock lands? Uh, no, not yet. Your company is flourishing. You may even be the match of your father. Rest his soul. That is so cool, dude. Ship constructed. Hey, the frigate is ready. Let's sell off that fr uh, frigate now. Oh, it's on its way. West of the prison. New orders, Admiral. Anyone for croquet? Ooh, 10 k These reinforcements will please Her Majesty, though it remains my hope no war will be necessary. I had believed it would only do harm to tell you, but I have grounds to believe your father was murdered. <gasps> what? And the killer, his cellmate, walks free. The rumor is he's in hiding, preparing to flee to the new world. Oh, cool. You can build your sand docks and stuff out here. Oh, that's so Someone cool. Someone supplies the murderer from Madame Kahina's harbor. We should investigate. The Docklands DLC makes it so nice, too, because you can build more and more buildings out at sea like that. That's nice. Uh-oh. I'd not step out of line unless it... Ma'am, why are you upset? Why are, why are you all mad? Oh, the news. Oh, the damn newspaper. Sail to Madame Kahina's lighthouse. Oh, worker happiness still dips? It's our human rights. Oh, there's mad about the news and the beer. As soon as that newspaper refreshes itself, we'll be fine. Oh, let's start making windows, though. That becomes a big pain. Glass works and a window maker here. Sixteen iron. Okay, let's do a side quest real quick. Guilty until you're getting off lightly. Wait, where, where, that's it? Okay. Hmm. You're, you're definitely getting this game? Yeah, if you want to use code Raptoria at checkout on the Epic Game Store, you can do that or get it on the uh, Uplay Store too if you'd like to. New DLC coming out soon, so. 
Full scale invasion, when can we invade full scale? Uh, well, there is going to be an invasion at some point in the campaign. There is a big military attack, and there's um, a larger battle I think you can fight at some point. I kind of recall. It's pretty cool. Wow, we're making good money? Oh, awesome. All right, let's build a police station. Will you bring order to the scattered cosmos? Uh, sure. Fly upon a cloud. You want me to... Coming clean? It all looks in order. We'll do that quest quickly. And it takes a hundred workers, a hundred artisans to work at the glass, or the, um, at the window maker. Uh, do I think Steam will ever get the game? I think there was a deal where it was on Steam, and then I think Epic just cut a fat check and was like, Hey, uh, <coughs> Ubisoft, how about you go ahead and not put this game on Steam? Here's some money. <laughs> An empire covers both la- Yeah, yeah. All right, let's build a frigate. This will be our first Raptorian war vessel. We'll keep this one. And we'll use it for other quests. Oh, you got it with the Ubisoft uh, subscription? Okay. Yeah, there's other ways to get access to it as well. If you want to. I think it's a lot of fun. We'll be playing this this weekend, too. And it'll be free. Free like a bird. Oh, we got a... Ooh, cargo slow down minus 20. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Our ship goes slower because of the weight inside. Let's drop that off until we're ready to colonize for beer. We can do that later. Movement speed plus 7. Damage slowdown minus 40. Alright. We'll keep our flagship as kind of like a turbo mission Your runner. Conduct is exemplary. So it can go fast. The strike has ended. Deliver it to the lighthouse. Oh, we can buy ships too. Oh, you can buy it on Steam if you have, if you get it through virtual stores. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to follow a smuggler here shortly. Upgrading our flagship was a good idea, though. Okay, let's do a supply check. Stops are good. Bread is good. Cannons are coming in. Windows. Finally Brought making those. some joy. Sweet rain. After the long drought. Worker's happiness is going to depend on the newspaper. That'll be autocomplete. Okay, I think we can settle a new island for schnapps at least. Or no, for beer. So good to see you, uncle. Uh, I don't know what's harder to get. Steel beams or probably windows, because the artisans are so finicky. They're picky. I don't have all I need for my canvas. Wood and glass. Everything's rather fragile. It's so whiny. I like the engineer class. The engineers are cool. What are the exclamation points on storage units? Uh, they're overloaded and I need to upgrade them. 
but I can't upgrade them without windows being made, so we're, we're just starting the window protection right now. Well, it's going to be a little bit. Show me how you conduct your business. Uh, sure. It oh. is good manners to agree terms of trade. You wanna, you wanna do trade? Yes, ma'am. I'm open for trade. You're as good as gold. All right, let's go settle a new island before the others do. Probably are making way too much clay. I think we need more brick works. Yeah, we could definitely make some more brick works. But that's going to take more workers. The check copy? Bro. Diplomatic relations with Anne Harlow. Oh, bro. Riot chance plus 25. Why would that be? Why is that an article, dude? Pirates exist. That's bad for us. Like, I didn't... That's not my bad. Or tell them to go buy stuff. My publishing house? I, I, I mean, I am so grateful to work in your publishing house. Anything else? It begins. Then I'll send it out. You're a cunning one. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, hey, I want to put a crossword puzzle in the newspaper. It's like, hey, could you, instead of the crossword puzzle, could you tell everybody about how we just, like, landed this awesome trade deal, which creates a lot of new jobs for everybody? Oh, dude, you're so manipulative. Oh, <laughs> I, well, put it next to the crossword puzzle. You gained oh. an influence oh, bonus. Oh, my publishing house. Can't we put both in there? Oh. Our docks are primed for a first ship launch. Everyone waits on your signal. Cool, let's build a frigate then. Which we're already conveniently making, so that's going to be an easy one to complete. And let's make a new island. Ship constructed. Wait, can I not do that yet? Eldest, you outdo yourself. Wait, there's multiple skins for the ship? I guess not. Anyway, uh, is that a good spot for a dock? I want to build it here instead. Much better spot. Hey, island number two is up and running. Perfect. I shall await you by cheerily sifting through paper. And we'll get started on the hops. Quite the scale of operation. Tyler dear. Long, welcome aboard as a raptor egg, dude. Thank you very much for smashing that join button, man. I appreciate that. Welcome aboard. Let's get the new member emote in the chat. Let's see a new member. A new member wall. The hands with the eyes. The eyes have it. I've summit to put before a townsperson. I shouldn't ask. We've all we've ever wished for. Okay. Beautiful. Good photo. All right, now we got to name one of our new ships. Keep her constant. We'll gather and toast your elf. I guess we'll uh, name new ships after new members, so let's do that. One new ship equals uh, one new member. Vice versa. No, wait. The RMS. 
There we go. The RMS long. Perfect. Ready the ropes. Know that any assistance. Buckaroo. Pick up the cargo ship chocolate. Coordinates plotted. Wow. Tyler's first quest is to go pick up chocolate. It's a good day for you. I'll pick up a little bit more wood. That'll help the home building part. And the rest of the bricks. Just in case. Oh, we gotta name this island, too. Hmm. The RMS Long was a boat in my family. Robbie face? Yeah. Well, now you own another boat. How about that? Right, now, we, off good to us. now we can start making beer. That's going to help profits. Well, that certainly settles the stomach. What the? Did the queen just like hack in? The queen just like spawned in. We gotta go deliver the chocolate to the queen's ship. Make sail! Oh, slip past patrols and deliver the chocolate. Oh, okay. Halyard sheets and braces. Why is this chocolate so, uh, <laughs> so dangerous? All right. And AR Dan, thanks for the six months as membership, dude. Thank you very much for your support. Oh, we have such a new... Wait, how can you see what this island can make? Oh, here. It looks like we got potato, fertility, grain, hops, and fur. We could actually make all the beer here. But we'll just import the hops for now. We better hops to it. Yeah. Who's stinking like cut? How do we grow the hops? There it is. This looks nice so far. Okay, we'll leave some of that room for decoration. The thing. Yeah, we'll leave that there. And then we can expand to build a farm. Yeah, we'll build some farms over there.
I knew you'd come through. I am quite penetrated by your kindness. Yep. Uh, what would you do if you had every game in the world? Probably play the ones that I like the most, I guess. A simple answer, but an honest I'll do. one. Is water a resource you have to deal with? Yes, when you go to the uh, African DLC areas, there are canals and things you have to worry about. In fact, some of the upcoming DLCs will work with uh, one of the scenarios you there. Reached a new milestone. One of the scenarios in the future will have to do with dealing with water. It'll be much more of a survival simulator or a scenario. That'll be interesting. Wait. Oh, we have to make a malt house, too. Okay, I forgot about that part. No. We can make the malt house in the, uh... In the other island. Not a big deal. And then we have to make a brewery. All right, put a firehouse down. Refed at least. Um. I actually might not need that. Okay, we'll bring over some more lumber. I gotta figure out a name for the new island, eventually. I'll come up with a temporary name so we know what to name it. Uh, let's see. Hmm... Or whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, we need more workers. Okay. Oh, but more wood. More wood is needed. Yeah, we only need one. The fire is out of control. And now we can have the RMS Long start... Bringing, uh, Steady her Our city is noteworthy enough forth. to attract its first visitors. Ooh. We must be sure to make all the necessary arrangements. Can we do that, ma'am? Requires free coastline. Well, I got that. Oh, it's got to be pretty close. Okay. Well, let's build it over here, and then we'll work on making this area of town very nice. That way we can make it nice for villager uh, visitors. We'll come flooding in now, I'm sure. Oh, this lady. You restore a grain of my trust in humanity, Elder. Glad to hear it. And where's the boat? There it is. 
And we'll have to set up a trade route. Nice, things are flowing. Good, good. Proper job. Yeah, the farmers are happy. Good. So since we're not going to really do much industrialization here, I think we can build all the way up to the coastline. For the most part. What is that? Oh, cool. There's like little... Oh, it's a fishing boat. I thought there was like little tugs that would stay nearby. Oh, we need mash here and we need a brewery. We need more hops. Start with two. Doesn't that look like a nice glass of beer right there? That looks really tasty. That looks like a nice beer. Nice. All right, well, that's pretty much all we need for now from this island. Ooh, the, damn, the, the sound effects are so nice, dude. The rain. It's so good. So good. So good. Uh oh. What are we lacking? Oh, we got a lot of good soap. We could use some more pigs. But that just is like building a silo. Nops is good. Probably the artisans now since we got a... Since we got a large artisan population, they want more crap. Stations! And I think we gotta build beef. Okay. Ships on the route. Um. Hoppingtons to ditch water. Go ahead and load up with uh, hops. And offload for now. That's it. That's all we need for now. And okay, we need the mash house over here and the brewery. Where are we going to make our beer? Right here. Perfect. Oh, that's a good spot. Yeah, let's build a brewery. Oh, maybe we should build it in the town. Near the docks. Oh, yeah. We're going to build it next to the police station, so that way they can guard it. Stand back, I would. Looks like the chief. The mash house we can build out here. And then that... Oh, the malt house, sorry. Again, the, they were making mash. Suicide is painless. The fire left ruins behind. Oh, was there a big old fire over here? My bad. I'm... Ceasefire has ended. Ceasefire? Priorities. I was the beer take. Look, the beer was important. The city has grown more beautiful. A bold new expedition, Admiral. Not yet, sir. Soon. Soon. Well, let's go get some more quests. 
Oh, looks like we have no. Oh, we have to sail to the uh, lighthouse now. Let's go do that. Go sail to the lighthouse. Meet our new friend. making a good amount of iron now got the nice brewery set up I had a job unpicking old rope once The Emporium Exotique looks forward to your patronage, if you can afford it. Oh yes, ma'am. It is time to do business with you. Oh yes. Sail the lighthouse. The locals say that trading ship over there belongs to a stranger. Maybe that's the supplier. Keep your distance. Oh, my bad. Okay, we're going to be in hot pursuit. Hopefully they don't see us. I don't think they can see us. On the open ocean. With this giant sail ship. Shooting out smoke. This seems suspicious. Just a giant island. Yeah, we're on, we're right now we're doing what's called stealth chat. Okay, Keck W emote. The foul scent of a killer. We cannot let him escape. Uh oh. Oh, they were hiding in the caves. Open fire! Who have we here? Samuel Good's child. Want to go down with your father, do you? Yeah. Get ready. He freely admits to his crime. Get him! Oh, he's already dead, sir. We. Absolutely clapped. You're too late. I was just a spark. And the touch paper is already lit. No! He is dead. It cannot end here. We have no answers. 
So that's Endless how you do that. Cloaks and masks. An assortment to make the blood girdle. It is father's diary. Quickly, what does he say? So that's how you change that paint job. I never knew that. I guess you can do that with the trains, too. Uh, well, of course. See. The island over which he was accused of treason. That is what they are after. Wormway's prison. No doubt father thought this symbol germain. If anyone can interpret it, Madame Kahina can. A first terrible night. My island prosperity is sold. That is all I can puzzle of my arrest and present circumstance. Shackled between those cold gray walls. Tomorrow I'll click or tap the join button and become a member. No, actually I'm going to do it right now. So that way I don't miss out on giveaways and more. Especially with extra perks on the Discord and whatnot. How could I ever resist macking the join button right now? In order to have my name pop up in chat. To receive a coveted shout out. Get access to a ton of different emotes. As well as a badge next to my name, and my name highlighted in green, immunity to slow mode, and much more. And I'll make my case again to Mr. Bleakworth, who today so cruelly refused a proper explanation. Now I must try to sleep. I can think of nothing but my poor Hannah and the others so far distant. Uh, let's see. With daybreak comes clarity. Prosperity was sold to the infamous uh, rebel Sargento. And I must be the last to have heard of it. The Queen Nation is up in arms and the jewel of the New World is lost. The guards from whom I heard all tr thought playing some sort of trick, yet it is I who am tricked. Duped of my island by persons unknown. Although it must only be the same persons that came to me one ominous day, masked and embroidered, uh, embroidered with eldritch symbol they uh, present me towards the sale but i shut the door and i tell you i bid them a good day oh so these dudes were trying to like buy the island okay i began the process of gathering evidence in my defense hannah was here although uh, they did not let me st her stay long it gives me hope of full unmitigated pardon as possible years of loyalty count in my favor but the very idea that i may have betrayed my queen weighs heavily upon me even if the dark clouds of scandal pass, they must forever have damaged my family's prospects. Wow. Lore. Alright, looks like we're going to have some more combat soon. More to do. Alright, we're profitable now. Are we brewing? Are we, are we making some brewskis, Brad? And we made our first beer. Look busy, people. Oh, yep. It's it's making now. We're making beer. Okay, so now the question is how much hops is waiting for us? Three, okay. All right, not bad. What a, a what a wonderful game. I agree. It is a good game. We need more windows. Lots and lots of windows. All right, deliver your father's diary to the Madam. K oh, we got to go back here. Go to your lighthouse. Let's make another frigate. We're gonna need more ships. Although we could probably just use the small schooner for that. For small trade. Although, is there a notice for speed? I think the uh, schooner... Average mobility. Agile trade ship. Okay. So that would be faster, but since it's literally next to our base, it doesn't really matter. That's fine. We'll just go with the one frigate for now. A little overkill for the trade, but that's fine. Could make another ship for money, though. They get us 10k each. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make two ships and trade them and then see if we can 
What makes you think I trust you? Hire somebody. Oh, look at that. Award-winning brewer. Attractiveness plus three. Yeah, well, 75,000. So, yeah, money's definitely going to be needed. But now we got Brewski's coming in, Brad. A little carousing in order. Now they're getting beer. Excellent. Now they've got everything else. They're living their best life. They got beer. They got the pub. They got churches. They got schnapps. They've got everything. Good. But now we're going to have to reach the new things world to make some of these things. Things are somewhat humdrum. And now we got to start making the, uh, what the artisans want. So now we're going to need red peppers, which this island can grow, and also cattle farms. Okay, where are we going to put cattle? I can tell you're searching for something. Yes, ma'am. The mark of the Perforion. This sign of fire is reserved for those they wish death upon. I never knew your father was mixed up with the Perforion. A grave malevolence. Ma'am, are you French? You may be wild, child. But don't go to the new world. Don't rouse the dragon from its slumber. The diary may not be enough in itself to convince Sir Archibald, but it may give him food for thought. Samuel Good's murderer exposed. Good siblings track down their father's murder, a man unlikely to have acted alone. Indeed, rumors circulate links to a peculiar sect. Uh oh. That's an okay cattle farm. I think we can redesign that a little better. All right, now we're making goulash. Oh, she's from Milwaukee, okay. All right, we need some more Pens for these guys. Fields might help. Um. Gotta make it look pretty. I can't build on the other side of the road, it's too uh, sm smushed. I think the um, the grain silo has to touch the farm, yeah.
That'll do. That works. Anno is the best puzzle game ever. First try. Alright, so that should allow us to make a ton of beef. And so now let's make the peppers. And then we gotta make the canning facility. Oh, and it also takes iron to do. We probably need to make another iron mine. But this is how Anno is. Like, you want, you want to make things look nice. Same time trying to fit everything in. Ship constructed. Oh, there's a house in there. Wow, didn't even know that was there. wood. Yeah. Darling, bring your car in touch. Yeah, if you ever have extra space, you can just use the uh, planter for it. There's a tree planting tool. Oh, I love that little farming area. That's awesome. That is very beautiful. And beer is slowly increasing, but not great. So let's make some more hops. How are these guys doing? Gorgeous! Oh, they're happy. Oh, no clothing. Um... Let's bring clothes over too. Load with. No, not 50. Like maybe five. We have plenty of extra workers here, but I think what we're going to eventually do is instead of having the workforce on this island dedicated to just farming, we'll make the rest of them workers so they can do the mining. Because there's not a lot of space here, so we got to make everybody else a worker. Okay, um... So we want... more hops. You better not be drinking my beer. Well, unless you're unless you're paying for it, chat. I need money. Also, we got our two new uh, frigates ready. I have a structured settlement, and I need cash now. If only there was somebody I'm I could call. I'm not going to say I didn't think it possible. Anna's now pleased you can supply beer to your people. Sister. It's four hours in a row. Time to stretch your legs. Thank you, Anno guy. Warehouse time. Sounded like a bear. I'm going to need to set up a bear trap. Okay, that'll increase the output of... Um, that'll increase the output of uh, hops now. We've doubled it. Okay, where are we at? 13 hops, zero beer. So yeah, we could definitely make up another brewery. Oh, 
Let's make another brewery over here. I'm gonna save that for something else. I'm sure there's gonna be something we need to build. Oh, build! Oh, you know what? We're gonna build it across from the pub. Let's upgrade some roads. We'll start with the uh, brick area. They can make more bricks. And that'll help us to upgrade the rest of the town. And the harbor area. There's a lot of industry down here. Oh, that's looking so good. That is looking so good. What's up, Falconon? How you doing? Welcome. Good to see you. Hmm. I'm getting low on bricks. Can I do any other upgrades? Yeah, we'll need some more bricks now. Then we'll start upgrading uh, warehouses and some other things. Okay, we have new frigates available. Excellent. Ship waiting for trade. Yeah, harbor is a little busy. We're going to have to start working on that harbor DLC stuff then. That'll allow us to expand and build multiple trade depots. There's a way to do that now. Yep, another pier. Well, we'll need more bricks and more windows. What types of games do I like to play? Uh, Anno 1800 is one of them. These uh, resource management building games are a lot of fun. They take an incredible amount of time and an insane amount of patience, but they're satisfying. Okay, we can make some more bricks. And that's what we'll build here. Since we have an insane amount of clay. Bum, 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 bum. New orders, Admiral. All right, let's sell our ships. Taking the initiative. Frigate first class. What a jolly, jolly. Worker shortage. They're very happy, but unhappy about pollution. But only by one. Dude, we got lots of good Look stuff going on. Lots of good stuff going on. We need to build our goulash factory. Hmm. You love seeing the carts? Yeah, they are pretty nice to see. We need a warehouse nearby. Ok, 
Okay, we'll add some... Brick layers over there. Or brick factories. Time for the cannery. Oh, by the church, though? Uh, the ability to respec like that is so nice. One final look. Oh god. You know what's best for the readers. My impression of you is unfavorable. Silence, ma'am. You want to be in that trade agreement with me, pipe down. We need coffee. Yeah, we can import coffee from the New World, I think. Eventually. Soon. Soon. Spare a thought for us. I'm happy as a sand boy. Will you build us another castle? Find the little revolutionist. Not bad for a big boss. Ooh, now we got an ensign. Oh, now we gotta go to Sir Archibald Blake's. Well, let's do that. Another main quest story, and then we'll continue to get more of the workers that we need. Are we low on fish? No, we're good. It just needs to be delivered. Numbers will just steadily increase. These numbers should level out shortly. Missing iron. Oh, we need another mine. Farmers are needed. Well, right, let's upgrade the docks. Oh, we need wood now. Oh, wood is needed. Jerry will definitely play this again soon. Yeah, so I haven't played this campaign since 2019, and the amazing thing is that you can play all the DLCs now in the main campaign since it's been, you know, a while. If you've played it, what is it you are bringing? There's so many new things that you can like do while you're in the campaign. Like I could start the Africa DLC like right now too. So it's really cool how you can take it all on at once or whenever you want to. This symbol nice. is a death threat, but Her Majesty received one identical upon a plain envelope with a stamp from the colonies. 
Okay. We still don't know how your father was involved in all this, but I fear the answer lies west. No, we should be eastbound and downloaded up in Your trucking. father sold prosperity to the leader of the rebels, Isabel Sarmento. Sarmento's last location is all we have. We need to plan our expedition route carefully. All Seductive right. charts, bury my desk. Do we send the flagship to the New World? I think we should. New orders, Admiral! Sir Archibald Blake. These fabled lands exist after all. I'll cut them for ye till blood boil or freeze in my veins. Finding Isabel Sargento. The island prosperity appears to be the cause of your father's trouble. He was accused of selling it to Isabel Sargento, the le leader of a very strong and independent cheese factory. Despite her opposition to Queen and Empire, Sir Archibald believes that if her hideout can be found, it's possible she may be willing to cooperate. Cooperate. Good. Ship shape. Okay, we need rations. How about beef? Yeah. Wait, what do you guys like more? Beef or sausage? Oh, okay, the sausage. All right. Okay. 50's a lot, but all right. Maybe 10. Hunting is likely. I think wood helps with that. Metal? Oh, no, it's clay. For whatever reason. And how about beer? Stops. All right, go. All right, let's go to the new world. Gonna go find a whole new map, a whole new place to sail. Law of Raptoria. We'll be clamping down on a new region of the world. That'll be much more... Uh, much bigger need for ships soon. May as, may as well big, build, start building some big old frigates now. Nope. Yeah, you can rename towns whenever you want. So I guess we'll go ahead and call this Raptoria again. Well, we named the other, the big island, you eventually take command of. What happened to the soundtrack? This is, I'll give you one guess. This is YouTube. Four magical letters that control the world. Those letters are either R-I-A-A or D-M-C-A. Whichever you choose. Oh, finally, we've upgraded the port. Little Raptoria. Aw. All right, so now we need the expedition to succeed. You can rely on us. Where are my charts? Oh, they're on their way. Yay. Soon. Soon. I'm going to make a lot of bricks for the big O upgrades, so let's just keep upgrading stuff. Up 
upgrade all the industrial areas, because that makes sense. Ship constructed. Good. Good. Okay, we need more bricks again. Let's do a quick uh, vibe check. Lack of steel. Is pollution a factor in this? Yes, it is. Looks like we might need more coal, too. Yep. May we see these shores again? Going on an adventure? Don't be scared if old Wibbly can also do it. Okay. It's a big island you got here? Yeah, this is pretty big, but there's an even bigger island when you can go to the Cape... It's like Cape Tel... Telrani or something like that? It's like the... It looks like a... It's an octopus symbol for the DLC. I think it's part of the Sunken Treasures DLC. New orders, Admiral! How are we doing on brewskis, bruh? Oh, we got no beer again? Oh, we got plenty of malt and plenty of hops. So let's build another brewery. Do you mine gold in this game? Yep, there's gold in the New World. The New World has gold. Uh, there's, like, certain things you can only get there. There's a lot of food that you can grow and other materials, too, but those usually stay in the New World. But Well, there's I, uh, rubber, I think. You can get basic materials for rubber. Oil. Gold. You can grow sugar there for rum. There's a lot of crops. A lot of crops come from there. Oh, the Arctic also has gold? Oh, I forgot about that. But you have to go to other places to get that. Which is why the game comes down to all about supply chains. Let's see. We're making enough coal now. So let's make another brewery. Oh, we can make another brewery down here. Ooh, nice. That fresh water for the brewery. Get the purest of beers. Be there tonight for you meeting. Ooh, the brewery looks nice. Very nice. Yeah, this game's going to be free this weekend. Again, as a reminder, April uh, 9th to the 12th, it'll be free. And I, it's for a free trial for those dates, and then there's going to be new DLC coming out on the 12th as well. So this weekend, if you want to play some multiplayer with us, everybody's invited. Members first. Members get priority, so that's why it's a an extra perk. It's going to be pretty cool. I'm excited. Might have to go to war with the boys, but necessary evil. We're taking every care. Okay, so we're going to the new world now. Yep, 
Yeah, code Raptori at checkout on the we Epic Games Store. We ought to share tea more often. Ma'am, I don't know you. I'm over here doing my thing. Oh, right, I need to make the clipper now. Actually, a clipper would be the best ship to go back and forth from the new world. Oh, we need 750 artisans? Really? This city is nowhere near. This isn't even our final form yet. This city is a magnet for genius. Increases church range from the town hall. Okay. Let's build a town hall. Wait, alright, so let's move the school. Ship constructed. Oh, nice. Increases the church range by ten percent. That's good. Just lifting up and moving these people's houses. Strongest man alive. With a mouse click. Building some public squares and things is nice. I think we can build pathways and stuff now for the workers. Something there should be a way to do that. Decorating is fun in this game. It's really cool. We'll add to that later. Uh, how are we doing on the expedition? Are we ready for our first... Yeah, yeah. No, no. Eight days on the high seas. Okay. Yes, chat. We're going to pick up coffee. We're, we'll be there soon. We're doing a coffee run.
looks so nice. Fancy. Hmm, what do we got? Elephants. Billboard. Oh, that'll look cool. Oh, nice. Gotta put that in front of Town Hall. Ruin, but someone has to do it. Oh, that's looking cool. I wait until we get to build palaces and stuff. It's ridiculous. The, I mean, even even when uh, the game gives you tons of space to build stuff, it's still not even enough. How about a favor for a favor? I will do whatever. Don't you go letting all barrel down now. I'll do that, ma'am, for the. Uh... Frigate commencing escort. For the rocket she wants to give me, okay. Pond in front of the church, yeah. Let's actually sort by uh, culture. Ooh. Please don't leave your crate unattended. Yeah, we get so many cool things we can build. Oh yeah, because the Anno Club stuff we got. It's not gruel today. Oh, the equestrian, nice. Untold perils await us. Uh oh, the Iron Dragon cornered by a fearsome, uh, whatever the, well, whatever. Uh, your expedition has reached South America at last. The crew are looking forward to some well-earned uh, rest. Night has fallen, and your ship is already in Tranquil Bay. When they look out to screams behind us, there, on the looming darkness, gleams a dragon of iron. Its nostrils livid with fire. It's the vessel that killed Mister Good, but this one. Must be twice as large. We're at their mercy. However, the bay is hidden from the bright gaze of the moon. Possible the dragon has not spotted you. If you choose to show yourself, you cannot expect to be a match for the dragon, only to somehow hinder it long enough to flee. Uh, take advantage of the darkness and try to sneak by. Your ship moves in absolute silence. It's all lights extinguished. The Iron Dragon cannot have spotted you or would have surely chased, uh, changed course. The darkness makes navigating the bay harder. However, the crew are under a misapprehension about the depth of the sea. You're almost clear when a loud sound resonates through the ship as the hull touches the bottom. The Iron Dragon, uh, though some distance away now, begins to turn. You can try to maneuver out of the shallows and flee or turn to face them still with the element of surprise. Escape the bay before they can catch you. Yeah. The dragon is on you. Uh, is on to your dithering nav navigators all too soon. So desperate they are to avoid the minor bumps from the shallow on their hull. As it approaches the iron dragon's mouth yawns wide at your little boat. And uh, from it the first plume of fire melts the men at the tariff, uh, tariff rail. The two hulls are close enough for boarding but they are just about as many rogues you try to target the flaming cannon or perhaps trick them into following you into the shallows I'm just gonna keep going for the higher bonus success chance it's a rough ride bumped from beneath and burned from behind your ship and crew scrape clear of the bay just before the dragon can issue a fatal torching the last moment the wind catches what remains of the sails and the problem are left stranded the expedition may be free 
to find Sargento now, but it is worrying uh, that the enemy will always seem to be one step ahead and possess such fearful machinery. Your crew now set up camp in a seclu. Did wait what? Is there supposed to be a comma there? I think that's a spelling error. Seclu did. <laughs> That, that's that's a typo. Inlet, uh, also un, unplayable. Uh, further up the coast where they bury the dead and begin the extensive repairs to the ship. Wow, yeah, we only had like a 22% chance to succeed on those. And it looks like we got away. So we, we did it. Provide extra rations. Wow, we were, we were not supposed to make it out of there. But somehow we did it. You're tying the knot. They Never. tried to stop us from getting that coffee. They tried to stop us, boys. <sighs> it's all coming together now. Okay. What do you want me to do, ma'am? Stations! She wants me to deliver to another ship. Alright, we're almost to the new world. We've almost discovered it. They tried to stop us. Shooting fire at us, killing some crew members, but we gotta keep rolling. F's in the chat, boys, for the crew. For the boys who died. F's in the chat. They tried to stop us. They tried. Okay, let's try to convert more things to brick. Oh, the church and the town hall look fantastic. We're going to have to move the, the brick factories out of there soon bricks again okay do we make new ships attention for the admiral now oh, we got an escort ship get them boys hey, get the hell out of here damn pirates Open fire! Woo! Ship under attack. Not anymore. You have done more by saying less. New orders, Admiral! Hold on, what is that? Bum, 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 bum. 
32 rum. Holy crap. Coordinates plotted. Bringing that back home. That'll raise happiness for a little while. Free rum, chat. Let me build another boat and do more quests. Quests are fun. Lovely. Okay, she's happy. That's good. Uh, can I move the brick factories to the second clay pit? Uh, I'm probably All gonna, hands up already. Probably gonna put them up up here somewhere. Eventually. We await your order. Finding Sargento. I'll mark her on the map with an S, says a local man, Ramon, who Sir Archibald sent to accompany you. Why not an X, says the captain? Uh, for Sarmento, says Sar says Ramon. His eyes are sparkling with life. Finding her is the key to everything. Having traveled for many days along the New World coast, it's now time to decide how you will travel from here. Ahead, a broad brown river mouth invites you upstream. Carol's waiting to be uh, waiting on scene beyond its bend. Perhaps a route over the land will be more forgiving, says the navigator. Hopefully one look at the dark foreboding line of trees would suggest nothing could be further from the truth, but which of the less, what's the lesser of two evils? Take the ship upriver, head into the jungle. Yeah, boy. Let's stay on the ship. Oh, god damn. Okay. Oh, enemy ship's back on your tail. It seems hard to believe at first, but the distant chugging of an engine and the black smudge of smoke above the ragged line of clawfoot mangroves is unmistakable. Your men who'd settled in long enough to admire the uh, proliferation of yellow flowers on the southern bank suddenly find themselves at the mercy of the twin horrors. Uh, beyond the next bend are a set of devious rapids frothing down towards you and an enemy dragon fast approaching. It is time... Time is in short supply. Very narrow breach at one side through which a vessel capably navigated may just about fit. Alternatively, blasting the high cliffs would block their way. Uh, use the rapids. 22% chance to succeed. Your navigator picks up plenty of speed, which is remarkable since there seems to be little wind on the river today. The line of approach is too good, squeezing your ship between two... Uh, craggy, between two of the craggiest uh, pr protuberances of rock. What the hell are these words? I've never seen some of them before. As your vessel rides up several tiers of the rapids with little more than a bump through this, a steamer might be suited to the task. The Iron Dragon makes no attempt to pursue. Your captain is quick to praise the great skill of the navigator rather than face the troubling possibility of the enemy. Uh, know of a greater danger to come. The river has taken you as far as it can. You must decide whether to continue across the march of on marsh of uncertain depth, or, as Ramon suggests, head through a nearby work network of caves. We'll take the caves. Ramon apologizes, but it's not his fault. You've descended too far and forced to squeeze your bellies through the mud and guano. Claustrophobe faints after. A few exhausting hours all emerge into a seemingly unremarkable clearing above the S marked on the map. But what is this, a young sailor reveals, a mossy bunker in the forest carpet. Long since deserted, he laughs, your information must have been out of date, Ramon. Many years out of date. Falls a voice from the trees. There's a rustle of foliage. As rifles poke through all around, you, a called man, appears and points in your direction. Come with us. You're shackled and blindfolded, and after a short boat journey, you find yourself before a woman you believe to be Isabel Sargento. Who are you, she demands, and why are you here? Uh, I'm the child of Samuel Good. Isabel's eyes flash with anger. So, they call your father a traitor for selling it to us, the pesky rebels, and now you've come here to do the right thing and take it back? Your father should have thought of that before he sold it. Deal is a deal. It is a confession that uh, the deal has not in any respect been a good one. She picks up the barrel and pours the wine over your head. Maybe I'll take all my rage out on you. Um, even if my father, uh, the enemy, 
forced him to sell. Isabel puts the barrel down, stabbing her boot knife in the uh, in it to plug the hole. Then you are against the enemy. I heard the reports trying to stop you with an iron dragon. She exhales nervously. I did not believe it, and yet you've risked your life to come here. Isabel motions to the guards to release you. I should at least hear what you're planning to do about all this. Okay. Oh boy. So, you found us. Take a look around. What can the henchmen of the Empire do to us that the Perforians haven't already? Please, Miss Sumento, we come here only to prove our father innocent. Samuel Good. Good? The man that sold Her Majesty's precious island to me? He is just as guilty as I am. I don't know about you, but my father would never have portrayed his queen. So you are calling me a liar? Love is blind. Back before they left their fiery mark, the Perforians told me your father would come to sell me prosperity. I knew conspiring against the Empire was a bad idea. Afterwards, when I refused to work with the Perforians, they came to teach us a lesson. From what we know of the Perforians, I don't think it's enough yet to deter them. The Perforians took prosperity from us the moment that deal was signed. Now our movement drills their oil for nothing, night and day. We have lost the strength to fight. Still, we are afraid. And even though we buried the dead and found a hideaway, I cannot provide shelter for all of them. We are very sorry to hear your situation. Still, I must insist on our obtaining our father's... So, you won't let go. Then let's get to business. Help me shelter and protect the good people that are part of this movement. If I see you can be trusted, I will find you the contract that sealed the deal on prosperity. Are you in? We made it! The New World. Nice. Chapter 3. Prosperity. Wow. Oh, we still have sausage left. That's nice. Build us a haven on La Isla, and we can talk about getting you that contract. The Perforians would only exploit us if we tried to resettle ourselves. But with an island under your flag. We will help you, but first you have to help us. I trust your empire no more than the Perforians. We are just pawns in their game. Session unlocked. New region discovered. Excellent. A leap into the new world. Good siblings venture into an unknown territory and locate Isabel Sarmento. Will the anti-imperial leader of rebels cooperate? Is she key to the truth about Samuel and the island of prosperity? Wow. Well, well we start with a little bit of wood. Oh boy. I heard a whisper you took care of it. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, me little lucky charm. Lucky charms? Magically delicious? Oh boy. Those jungle sounds intensify. Well, we made it to the new world. To something called the Isla. Which I think is French, which means the sea. It's 
C is also French for yes. All right, let's build some houses. We need to get uh, 50 journal arrows. You reached a new milestone. Age of tradition. Spanish? What the hell Spanish? Yeah, what are you talking about? Well, we may as well uh, run another boat here with supply. Would be useful. The fire is out of control. You can rely on us. Red Tide? What? Well, oh, that's the name of the other. Okay. Steady her course. Well, the ship finally made it back with the supplies. Oh, we gotta name another ship after a new member. Uh, let's see, we have Pup, Pup Mox. We're gonna be naming this one the Pup Mox. I'll smush it into one word because the, uh... Frigate first class. You don't get a lot of space to type that the in. The Perforians work the week to collapse. La Isla is their only hope of recovery. Just bring some Prosperity. Food. I want to see the island that caused all this with my own eyes. Ship under attack. Whoa. I... Oh, that's fine. A bold new expedition, Admiral. Not yet, Frigate sir. first class. Ship constructed. Oh yeah, and you used to when you would go to the New World, you wouldn't be able to like tell them what island to approach or whatever. It was it was so much more tedious to get ships to go to like the, the New World before you had trade routes set up and stuff. Like if you were just doing a one-time shipment of goods or something to like boost a, an economy or build something, oh, it used to be so much more tedious. Coordinates plotted. The fire left ruins behind. Wow, uh, where? All right. I... We need another ship. This one's going to be for uh, running tasks, I guess. Stations. Are we making enough pigs? Nice day for it. Oh, you get like a 200% boost for adding a, a silo? Oh boy. Nice. 
All right, well, now we just doubled the, the pig production again. Then we can get on making more soap and stuff for big profits. Big money. You can rely on us. You guys are going to attack in 10 minutes if I don't give you coffee? We're working on it. Jeez. Wow, lots of beef. Stations! Alright, let's see how much money we can get from, uh... I think you can sell a lot of soap and potatoes to the prison for money. Also, La Isla. I don't like that name. We need a new name for our new island. We'll call it La Bueno Isla. Uh, let's see. Collect a group of prosperity refugees. Ooh. This is our new home now. We should be... Why do they want this... The Island of Prosperity so much. Because there's oil. Ship under attack. Get wrecked. Cappuccino? What are you talking about? Let's see... What we'll do is this. We'll go making a change here, chat, for something. Let's try this. Perfect. Need a hero. Oh. I was very sick before this divine intervention. Oh, we need to get rid of something. Bye, Clay. They're just out there swimming? Damn, they're having a good time. Look at these people. They're just out there swimming. She's got a lot of defenses. Look at her. She's got a big old naval guns. Storing some oil there. All right, now we got some more people who are going to join us. Yes, Tan, rescheduling. Yes, that's what I was doing. Duke, thanks for nine months as a member, dude. Thank you very much for your support. You are awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, what was I up to? Got what I was doing. Okay. I want to build another warehouse because I can't upgrade any of these anymore. I want to move those houses and I don't want to build anything there. This will save some of the... Uh, they are mostly just civilians. Hoping for somewhere they can feel safe. Wasn't I moving goods to the island? Yep, we have ships on the way. A messenger boy has brought us a letter. You know not with whom you meddle. Leave if you value your life, else all shall burn. Yeah, you need to calm the down, sir. The cat is out of the bag. Now they know you are involved. The Sir. persecuted, the diaspora, flock to La Isla. We must shelter them. You need to calm down, sir. Hmm. 
Okay. Okay, um, trying to clean up the industrial area a little bit. That's a big NIMBY right there with the warehouse in the backyard, but it'll work. That looks cool. I... Oh, I, re I need to rename our ship and a few other islands and stuff, too. Hmm. Did this ship get here yet? We've got to be agile. Oh, it's on the way. Okay. The pup mox is on the way. Ready the ropes. Uh, damage per shot plus 10%. Ooh, and okay, we're going to keep that. Didn't I load up a ship with the uh, soap here, too? God scourges those with something to hide. So he'll trade us for 19,200. Nice. You right. can rely on us. So we should start selling All soap. perfectly legal. We need to make some more piggies, though. How's the cannery doing? I'm missing particular materials. Oh. That whole time I didn't even I forgot that How thrilling! A renowned personage has arrived. We need somebody else there. We need one more step in there. I forgot we didn't build the uh, artisanal kitchen yet. To make goulash. But I probably couldn't have made it anyway with windows. Being the usual slowdown. Confounded tricky. Okay, we need a lot more bricks. We lack the requisite. Your ship has returned from its voyage. Oh, we have another clay pit. Is this like civilization? Yeah, a little bit. It's, it shares a few things that are similar to that. I think if you like civilization games, you'll like this one. But it has to do more with, like, constant production. Pretty fun. I wonder if that's close enough to that warehouse. It's a surprise inspection. All right, we're putting more clay into the network now. That's good. Ooh. Doing quest. I fear my plea shan't be heard. Can any friend lift this demon cloud? Photograph of the school. Oh, that's a good photo. 
New school year begins. Children everywhere dancing merrily, flowers in the hair. I am giddy with gratitude. That the misery of school is about to resume. Not too many changes, I hope. Oh boy. Newspaper man, I swear. He'll find something to complain about. I don't even want to look at it. Are we making enough green? We need more grain and another windmill. More grain and another windmill. Yeah, I see a lot of people subscribing today, too. Welcome to all the new subs. I hope you're all enjoying your day. I hope you're all enjoying the big O stream. Feels good to be back and playing Anno 1800 again. And we're excited for the new DLC, that's for sure. Check on my little ones. Thought I was off to the workhouse. I can't wait till we get some tractors going. Wait, now we got a whole whole new problem. More people needed. More people are needed. Maybe we should do a wood check. We haven't checked on the wood. Can I get a status report on wood? More wood is needed. Okay. Wanted to make sure. That's what I suspected. Hmm. This city's getting crowded. There is a whole area to build over here. But it's kind of like near the oil and the... Mm, where they want to build over there. Running out of space? Kind of, yeah. Well, there's there's plenty of space to expand into. I just kind of don't want to. It's either too pretty or it's uh, too ugly. You know, like building houses next to the literally the oil wells. Not a smart idea. Could build a little village up here, though.
seductive charts bury my desk. Not now. It's out of my hands now. Oh yeah, newspaper guy. That one's gonna be sad now. Stand back, I would. Look like the hmm. Oh, there's plenty of space back here, actually. I just don't want to build into the forest. It's too gorgeous. Too pretty. Hey, it fits perfectly. Now that's cool. Nice. All right, let's take a look at demands. Okay, bread is improving. Or it can improve if we provide uh, more. Probably need another bakery now, yeah. Oh, also, I guess wheat dipped down because we did start feeding more pigs with wheat. Or with the grain. We probably should make another bakery. And then we'll go deal with the New World stuff. Oh, they, they have a lack of supplies here, too. Thirty bricks for these upgrades. All right, so we definitely need warehouse upgrades too. Okay, let's go get uh, this next quest done. Ready the ropes. We're doing a lot of quick building here. Is that a clay pit? Yep. Oh, so we gotta get 300 on this island. Looks like we can expand that way. You reached a new milestone. Hmm. Fire department, ponchos. Oh yeah, alpaca. Yeah. A fire broke out. Oh boy. I can already hear it. Fires cannot be due to the warm climate.
What are you, a firefighter, ma'am? How, how are we supposed to know that? This lady's coming up with theories. She must have a big brain emote. That's probably that's probably why she's so smart. Right, let's get some plantains going. Frigate first class. Okay, so I think we're gonna put most of the city here. So farming should be done. Not there, maybe here. Oh, now we're out of wood again. <laughs> Ready the ropes? Oh, we have more though. Warmonger Maggie, yeah, maybe. Maybe she'll make an appearance. Steady her course. Who knows? She may come back from the depths. I am so happy someone could help us. Workforce shortage. Oh, we're missing two. Okay, so now we just need to make the plantains at the plantain kitchen. The fire left ruins behind. When the fires begin, it is their warning. You must find these masks who walk with the devil. The sun is hot today. Okay, they want me to build a police station to stop the fires. Okay. With your patrols, we can catch the arsonists in the act. Okay. Oh, they're burning down all my buildings. They're launching they all these. They don't bring attacks. some fur. You can rely on us. Oh, bringing all that extra lumber was great. All right, let's send these boats back to the New World. Sometimes good to take things slowly. We could use some rain. When I look into your people's faces, 
I see trouble. Make sure their misery doesn't become a problem. Calm down, sir. Uh, who are we looking for? Find three to stop arson. Senor, senor, a letter. Now we can make food. Not bad. Yeah, let's see. Uh, do I know a mod for Dawn of Man that allows villagers to harvest faster? Uh, I haven't seen any mods for that game, but there may be a mod for that. There might be something like that. Oh, they burned down the damn uh, logging camp. Better in the shade. Maybe they're around the city. Oh wow. They burned down half the city. Oh my god. Since fire is such a threat, we'll build a couple of those. Yeah, we're going back to the uh, old world to get wood and stuff to bring it back here because that's going to be a constant battle. Let's see, fulfill Isabel's demands to receive the- oh, that's a, like an overall objective. Oh, you want me to take a picture of your family? Yeah, I can do that. Where are they at, sir? that works honest and hard work you kept your word all done yeah a kodiak bear moment i wouldn't call these i guess we just got to find these guys randomly in the town There we go. Those dudes walking around with torches. Okay. I thought we were looking for somebody at the market. I thought it was just mud.
Looking for one more. And that'll stop the fire. A bold new expedition, Admiral. Soon. So many people walking around is cool. You get so many like people walking around with pigs and carrying supplies and stuff. Oh, I thought it was just more. third guy something cold. Your ship has returned from its voyage. Got him. This is becoming a crisis. I worry the sick will die if we do not give them beds and clean linen. Ready the ropes. Holy crap, there is a massive backup here. Bring more wood. Bring a little bit of steel just in case. And I know she'll pay, she pays a bunch for cannons, so. Stations! Okay, Mine so. is a life half lived. Variety theater, more beer, and more sausage. Looks like we need to make more malt. And maybe another brewery.
Now, I think our artisans are happier because now we're finally uh, producing the food that they like. The extra little bit of uh, food that they like has been provided. Now they just want the sewing machines, which I think is iron and... Uh, I think the sewing machine factory is iron and wood? Yeah. Oh, and then we gotta make it too. Oh boy. Massive factory complexes now. Starting to get into the bigger stuff. Starting to get big. supply anyway seven oh boy we need more artisanal kitchens then further on that This end. city is a magnet for genius. Oh, we're broke. I... We're out of money. Constant. That's right, we foresaw this, that's why we made the sail ships. Fleet en route. Let's see, what can we do to make more money? I guess the beer and the sewing machines. There are not enough hands. Okay, let's go ahead and make some sales on stuff. Some beef. New orders, Admiral. Load up with some soap. Halyard sheets and braces. Think of it as hard evidence of your character. Stations. A tiny crack of light. Ah, yes, the bright. Ready the ropes. Don't tell me I've missed. Her. Here we go. Bum, 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 bum. All right. You reached a hey. new milestone. We're now a city. Ah, yes. Oh, and now we can have a zoo. Cool. And we can go collect animals and stuff. Very neat. A variety of theater we could build for the artisans. Oh, they need their 40 windows, though. She's a fine ship. I 
They want their windows. Let's go back to Prosperity Island, figure out this quest. Oh, we're uh, sending over a ship. We gotta wait till that ship comes back with supplies. You give us a voice. Stations! bad. Actually, now that they're making enough schnapps, workforce shortage. How are we doing with brick production here? Oh yeah, 58 in storage. I can see that at the top. Alright, so schnapps will be brought here. That'll help that out. Seems to be the other problem. Oh, the workers are very happy. Good. Frigate commencing escort. Wait. Keep her constant. Frigate commencing escort. Okay. A competitor raised a settlement. Do we not have that ship here yet? My uh, claw of Raptor is like only halfway. Okay. Yeah, we'll be able to go rescue those guys as soon as that ship arrives. Not bad. Yeah, you can see your ships on that screen. See where they're going. And how long till they get there, kind of. You can kind of see their approximate location. See how fast it's going. Some ships are faster than others. 
I usually just go frigates because they're like part clipper and part schooner, but they're also armed. Yeah, the South American island we're developing pretty quickly, but there's Ship um, constructed. There's a few less tiers to the uh, New World. So you can progress pretty quickly by default. Okay, and how are we doing on the sewing machines? They're finally being made? Awesome. Always harder with someone at your... Oh, now we're making 1300 Good. Can you make steamships? Yep, you can. You can make steamships, you can do oil... Uh, eventually you can do electricity in the game, and that's powered by... Oil. You can also do airships in the game, too, which was something that existed. And the game will expand upon that as well. There's coal power, charcoal, a lot of options for stuff. I think we've done a great job so far. Gonna keep upgrading our warehouses. Should upgrade that one? No. I want to save my bricks to build our uh, our comedy theater. What are we selling for wood? 29. Okay, so we just need windows now. We need 40 windows. We have 10. Artisan total count is 623, so once we get to, what, 750, we get a new building type or something? Or no, new ship type. That's what it was, the clipper we get, which is a little easier for doing international travel. All right, the clay does not pull from there. Build a quick little warehouse. I thought it was close enough. That gives us extra clay now. means we could do another brick factory an explosion in one of your factories oh man that that thing was rebuilt before the dust settled oh let's go back to the new world and rebuild those bring houses. us the horizon where the fire of freedom rises we're counting on you wait Wait, what does she want? Photograph her harbor. Oh, that thing. Wow. Thumbnail. Without you, I don't know what we would have done. Was the boat here yet? Still not here? Oh, it finally arrived. Finally, Chad, finally. Needless to say, an escort must be watchful. Frigate commencing escort. Yep, make sure you watch him. Are right, we gonna drop off our supply, pick up those guys? Oh boy. Yeah, I like the worker style house. I like the artisans too. And I don't know, the engineers. The farmer ones are okay, but they seem a little too cluttered even then. I really wish you could 
you didn't need as many farmers in the game because it feels weird to have so many. Ship under attack. We're not going to have enough wood for this. Your harbor is under attack. Uh, excuse me? Oh. Pirate must have got ballsy and, like, got too close. Yep. Oh, they, part of the escort mission, they passed in front. Oh, let's go escort that ship. Brigade commencing escort. Ship under attack. Ship constructed. What do I compare this game to? Uh, other Anno, other games like Anno. Pretty fun. Remember to use uh, code exclamation point Raptoria if you guys want to check this game out. Uh, you can get it on the Epic Game Store. It's not on Steam, so you'll either have to get it on Uplay or Epic Game Store and keep an eye on it because, it's, again, it's going to be free on the 9th to the 12th of April in honor of a new DLC that's coming out after this weekend. And we got shortages again. In this gentle bow. Am I quite content? Oh, they're all mad about the sausages. We need some more piggies. Maybe we'll make the pigs over here. Your chance to fight for something worth fighting for. Please, we are slaves. Do not return us to those demons. Okay. I, I won't do that. Have I ever completed the campaign? Yep. Yeah, I basically completed this like day one in a video series on the channel and then went on to do a sandbox mode. And, uh, but now that there's like, it, it's really nice to actually play the game within the, you know, with all the DLCs that are out, it might be a good idea for anybody who's played the sandbox mode a lot to go back to the campaign and do that while you also do all the other, uh, scenarios that Ready come with it. Ready to <laughs> bail me out. <laughs> Back on the straight and narrow. Keck W emote. This guy. Okay, we need piggies for uh, soap as well. I hate to do it, but I had to be done. A check copy? All right, what lies are you spreading now, newspaper man? Benevolent leader succeeds again. Benevolent? That's a lie. All-knowing, all-powerful, supreme commander is the correct way to address me, sir. I'll allow it. I too hope to spread good and truthful news. Ma'am, stop reading my newspaper.
The Witcher? That's a good game. Is this like a Paradox series? Where they uh, hide what should be base game content? Um... You know, honestly, the, the, the DLC that they've added to this game makes it so gargantuanly massive that I kind of like that it's optional because the base Anno 1800 alone is a lot of time investment and a lot... There's a lot to that. If they put in all the DLCs in the base game, I could imagine the price being much more higher and it just taking like longer and longer to get anywhere. This is kind of like the type of game where it's like... The vanilla game gives you a burger and fries with some nice... Perhaps this island is as yet unclaimed? With some nice stuff to it, but there's... there's, It's like a multi-course meal. Like, every one of the DLCs feels like a game on top of itself. At least, as long as it's providing... And by DLCs, I mean the whole season. Each season has definitely provided enough to almost make it worth playing over the game again. So if, if Anno 1800 releases a DLC that makes me want to play the whole game all over again from scratch, that's allowing you to get more traction out of the vanilla version and then the DLC on top of it. So every time that there's a new season, it has made me want to like start over from scratch and do it all over again. And since they kind of do this yearly, it gives you a reason since 2019... Um, you know, you had 2019 when the game came out, then My 2020, 21, 21, 22, one. to, like, go through all of it over and over again. It's pretty nice. I like it. A competitor Did, raised a settlement. Do the, uh, silos need road access? Oh, yeah, I guess they do. Yeah, we'll move some things around. So, I think Anno's done a good job of, like, making a really long game. That's drawn out if you want it to be. I think in City Skyline, more so in City Skyline, some of that more stuff should have been there, like the industrial DLCs and stuff. But in this one, it feels like um, workforce shortage. It's adding loca locations and things that are optional for story. I think. I feel like there's a few DLCs that could have definitely been in the base game, but for the most part, I think it's all there. Like a, the bigger island stuff, it's kind of like that. How long does the game take? Well, the campaign can take about 14 hours or so to complete. But it depends on how quickly you play it, too. But this is, this is definitely a game that's not a fast game. It's a very slow game. But yet you're doing a lot. But, you know, it's like getting through 1800 all the way to, like, 1920. I wish to spread harmony. Your heart is white jade. Unblemished. Well played indeed, dearie. Get out of my office, all of you. I'm trying to talk to my chat. Going. So anyway, it takes a long time to play, These but that's the point of it. These penitents work for us. Ship under attack. Wow. I didn't know they had ATGMs. I mean, uh, ASMs. Fire the Sea Whiz. Ended. Throw the wood overboard beneath speed. When a limb is severed, a new one grows. Go back at his ass. Raise the Corsair cloth. Woo! The flagship. Almost got dead. But we took down two ironclad ships with it, so that's a pretty damn good ship. The people celebrate your leadership. Damn straight. Do it now, while the moon lights the river. Uh, 
Uh, did I do what you wanted, ma'am? Do not turn your back on this fight. I feel bad for asking. Oh, there we go. Muchas gracias. Well, let's go sell these cannons to her. Once this is over, I promise to repay you. Right now, I care about my people's safety. I'm gonna try to go sell cannons to her. This can be our fortress. A beautiful garden away from terrible things. We must protect it. Good. You ain't half good to us. A crisis! No other way of looking at it. Before an evil, heretic uh, cult of the goddess Pyr takes hold in the new world. Sarmento's movement cruelly uh, uh, subjugated and oppressed. Do the they Beforian attack frightens to exhaust them. the wellsprings Please, of oil and prosperity? Do they have yet a sinister plan? Jeez. What if these people grow sick and they're going to need a hospital? Yes, ma'am. We're working on that. Yeah, cannons and soap always make me money. Soap to the prison. You can also sell potatoes, too, especially at the start. Make a little too much potato or something, you can sell it for some good money. Frigate first class. Transfer that ship. I... Okay, let's go ahead and sell this ship to our friend. Steady her course. Taking the initiative. Okay, go back to our HQ. Coordinates plotted. And the other one should be ready for sale too. Keep her constant. Do we need more artisans? But to get that, we need more sausage. So we need another Look factory. Look busy, people! So we need the sausage factory. Sausages, yeah! Missing grains. Are we making enough? We have zero. I suspect we're making enough. And that it's not being transported in time, maybe? And we'll have to make another farm just for the, uh, the difference. Actually, we could start farming over here a little bit more on this island. We can grow wheat here. And since we're doing a little farming already and have almost 200 workers, we'll just add another thing to the trade list. So, the yeah, the reason we don't have enough grain is because we're feeding, like, four, four pig pens and two cattle things with silos, and so they're taking up a lot of extra stuff. And let's make sure we save. Wait, what are you doing? My God. Wait. Hold on. There. I probably spelled it right three times and then wrong four more times. <laughs> it didn't look right. Ah, there we go. All right. I got a surprise for you guys. We're releasing a new video right now of an upcoming space game I think you'll be interested in. Let me do something real quick. Oh, yes. Looking good. All right, so this game is coming out with a DLC, Anno 1800, on the 12th. So, again, remember, the 9th to the 12th, it'll have a free play weekend for it where you guys can join me. We're going to do this again. We're playing this game again tomorrow. So, if you want to see that, make sure you go ahead and uh, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And then... Uh, tomorrow, we'll continue the story where we just were, and then on the weekend, we're going to play some multiplayer. 
And then we're also going to next week when the DLC comes out, we're going to play that. So anyway, new video coming out right now on the channel. Go ahead and click or tap that uh, link in the chat. Click or tap the like button if you'd like to see more Anno 1800. And make sure you guys subscribe. Very important, by the way, to support the channel as we rock it towards 2 million subs. So smash that like button and let me know you want to see more. I'll see you guys in an hour for our live stream of the new LEGO Star Wars game that came out today. And we'll uh, play through that as well. But in the meantime, there's a new uh, video about to go live. I'll see you guys shortly. Thank you very much for watching a Mars survival building game coming up next on the channel. We'll be back tomorrow for more. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.